again giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Um we're gonna get right into it. Uh, we're at a, a different location because um, I had to uh take my car into uh what do you call it uh, a recall. So I had to find a place so we were running late going to our normal spot. So we're here for this week. Anyway, we're gonna get right into it, whatever is on your mind, any topic, anything comes to mind, yeah. anything you wanna talk about. Yeah, well, you know, Esau um, get, being exposed, you know, that's that's the hot thing. And, um, you know, the Esau keeps on getting at Jake that is in the entertainment industry, uh, in the sports arena, because, you know, they paid off Jake to go out, to uh, sell out, you know? And pretty much Jake in, in, in these industries, they're pretty much slaves to the that's small exactly hat people. Just because you, you worth $11 billion or hundreds of millions of dollars, that don't mean you're not a slave. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because they can take it away from you just as soon as, as fast as they give it to you. And uh, the, the real reason why they, they came against uh, Ye and, uh, Kyrie. and Kyrie is because that that movie that Kyrie saw, which was on Amazon, which which played at premiered at uh, uh, Shaquille O'Neal's Theater in Newark, New Jersey, so wh why didn't he put the, the fire under the feet of uh, Shaq? Because he's an insider, you know. He's an insider. That's right. All he all he did, he saw a video. He he, he, he made a <coughs> tweet about it, you know. He didn't say you got to watch this. He said, look, I saw this movie. It's pretty good. You know, if you want to watch it, watch it. And then they made it seem like he worse than Hitler, you know. And the re and like I said, the main reason why they're doing that is because he's an actual uh, Israelite, you know. You got a picture somebody brother sent me. These are brother, you know, Israelites. You know, the Israelites. Yeah, so, so, so Shaq, Shaq is a Shaq is full of shit. <laughs> Shaq, yeah, Shaq is full of shit. Here he here 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 he allowed the movie to be played at his theater. You supposed to know what was playing at your theater, man. Yeah. You know. So they didn't put his uh, his uh, fire fire under his feet. Wow. But they did it to Kyrie because Kyrie yeah. made a simple tweet saying that I saw this movie on Amazon and uh, if you want to see it, you can go ahead and see it. He didn't say what part he liked, what part he didn't like. But like I said, the reason why they're getting on him and Ye because because people are waking up to the fact that they're Israel. Right. That's all there is to it. This is this is uh, Ezekiel 37 coming to pass in living color. We're, we're in the time of the you know the fulfillment of uh, the bones being waken up yeah. in the valley. The valley is America. You know, Job speaks about that. Matter of fact, let's go to Job. Uh, uh, Job 10 verse 20. Is it Job 10 verse 21? I think so. And let's go to Psalm, the 23rd Psalms. All right, Job chapter 10 verse uh, uh, 21. It says. Before uh, I'll, uh, I'll start, start, it, start in a couple of verses above. Here. Yeah, um, 18. It says, Wherefore then hast thou brought me forth out of the womb? Old, old, old. He's com Job is complaining and wishing that uh, he should have just been stillborn. But guess what? He said that in um, the, third the third chapter. chapter. So why would he say it again? Because this is really talking about America. Mm -hmm. If you go to the, if you go to the dead, it's not a land that you go in, right? You know, so he was, talk and that's why certain people can't understand this, because this book is uh, written in a parabolic, symbolic. It's written in code. Code, yep. So you just can't read the book, the, the, the scriptures ver ver verbatim, like yep. this guy Ron Dalton. Ron Dalton is completely confused, man. You know, he just knows he's an Israelite. You know, I don't know where he, where he came at, what, what group he came at, but he doesn't have the full truth. Because he did one video, I did the video last night, where he was getting on, well, you got these, don't listen to your Israelite leaders, if they tell you you're going to be delivered in UFOs. So he went to uh, the word chariot, and he said, you guys take the word chariot, and then you apply it to being UFOs. So if that's the case, uh, the Egyptians, the Pharaoh, and his army, chase after you and UFOs. No, because you know what kills that? 
when Elijah was, was lifted up, where was that chariot? Where did that chariot come from? Exactly. That chariot was already in the heavens. It's obvious the word chariot, just when you go to the root of the word uh, chariot is a uh, rakab. And, and when you go to the root of that, it means to ride. That's what it means. Ma, ma rakab means from to ride, meaning the chariot. Rakab means to ride, to ride on something. So a bike could be a chariot, a plane could be a chariot, all right? A car could be a chariot. In the ancient world, uh, uh, you have chariots, and then you have the chariots on high, which, which are the angels. They fly around in what, what the white man calls a UFO. And the reason why you can't see it because your spiritual eyes are not open up because you're not one of the elect. If you are one of the elect, your eyes are fully open. You don't understand the full scriptures. What about all the UFO, so-called UFO sightings? Well, he'll say that that's demons or that's a Esau's technology. Because if, because he's, Jake, Jake, mind, if, like I said, you got to be of the elect. In order to get this, in order to understand this, mm -hmm. you got to be of the elect. For the, for the most high to completely open up your eyes. I got a quick precept for you, Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah 4:22. Most I only gave this the secrets to his servants and prophets. Yeah, that's, it. that's why we know the book. That's why we can look. Somebody can look at a book and think it's and think it's uh, literal. It literally means this. But then, if the Most High opens up your eyes, you're going to see deeper into the scriptures, and then and then you get the answer of of uh, the, the so-called UFOs. And from putting up by going to one scripture, or by going to precept upon precept upon precept yeah king david said through thy precepts i get understanding that's what king david said. yeah so that means you got to go from one part of the scripture to the other part sometimes you go to the new testament to get the answer you got to go to the old testament yeah how that's... many times in the new testament does it says as it is written many times it says as it is written that means that somebody paul or yahweh shai is referring mm -hmm. to or uh, as moses said does not your law say right. mm -hmm. so anytime they say that they're going back to the Old Testament. And then if you go to the Old Testament, and you go to, let's say, Daniel 7, Daniel 2, uh, Jeremiah 49, Jeremiah 50, I thought all the scriptures that I go to, the prophetic, Isaiah 13, a lot of those uh, Old Testament prophetic scriptures are taking place now. Some of them took place already, like Daniel 11 already took place. Daniel 8 already took place. So you got these so-called Christians that claim they know the Bible, they'll go to Daniel 8, and then they'll say, oh, that's talking about the Antichrist. Or they'll go to Daniel 9, but oh, that's the, the rapture, that's the seven-year tribulation. No, D Daniel 9 took place already. You don't understand prophecies. Yeah, this is on uh, the book of Isaiah 6 and 9. It says, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. What does it mean, shut their eyes? Meaning their, their spiritual understand eyes. It, yeah. Understand it, yeah. They understand it. What they call the third eye, right. shut their eyes. So the individual that Pastor mentioned, his eyes are shut. And see, what he does is, the brother that goes by the name of a friend of the prophet, he said he was following him, and then he said that, yeah, he, he, this guy, Ron Dalton, speaks against the, uh, the, the camps. Mm. Well, Ron Dalton, he, the reason why he speaks against the camp because he doesn't understand who the true prophets are. You just happen to know that you're an Israelite. Yeah. Now, if you humble yourself, the Most High, and you are the elect, the Most High will fully open your eyes. Your eyes are not fully open, man. Yeah, like and then with all this mess, I'm sorry, oh, no, with no. all this mess that's going on, the last video that you did, the page that I went to, I believe, is, if it's not your main page, it should be one of your main pages. And I'm thinking you put it up. It's you speaking on it. The last time you did a video was two weeks ago, man. You know? Hmm. You, that, you haven't did one in two weeks. That's him? Yeah, that's him. Because yeah. I know you. Yeah. And, it, and you know what he teaches? He teaches the tall one. He teaches the fleet. He teaches the fleet doctrine. He teaches that he goes back and forth to Africa. He goes back and forth to Africa, and he says, well, we got to get out of Africa before America gets destroyed because he believes that America is Babylon. He's right on that. And the way to, the way we're going to be out of here is, uh, give me that, that in uh, Wisdom of Solomon. I, oh, man, I had that. Five and one. 
It's the key point, isn't it, too? Come. You know, well, the point that should be made is Yahweh Shai is coming back to the earth, right? <laughs> so if Yahweh Shai is coming back to the earth, in what manner is Yahweh Shai coming back to the earth? The same way he left. The same way he left. He's Sorry. coming back in a glorious manner. Now, how, how did Yahweh Shai leave? It tells you that in the book of Acts, yep. the, the first chapter. What, what came and got Yahweh Shai? A chariot. A chariot, the so-called UFO. It literally abducted Yahweh Shai. Yep. It wasn't no horse and buggy either. And you know what proved that? The disciples, they were, they, they were standing, gazing in, into the yep. sky. And right. the, you had a couple of individuals, those were angels. They said, why are you standing here gazing? Why were they gazing? Right. For the, the, the power that Yahweh Shai left it. Mm -hmm. The way he left it. Because the way he left is the same way he's coming exactly. back. This right. time he's coming back with, a, with an army. army that's right. that's uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 47. I will not meet thee as a man. He's yep. coming back as an angelic power. That's right. He's coming back to tear shit up. So, and so, I don't know if I'm sorry. No, no, I don't gotta, know. I'm all in the possible. spirit. You know. Yeah, you're, you got to. Uh, uh, I don't know if you <laughs> if you read the. Uh, I don't know if you read the apocrypha. You know, yeah, yeah. but it tells you, and we're gonna go through that. And it tells you in the apocrypha that uh, Ezra saw a vision of the Lord coming back. Oh yeah. And then when you read down, it speaks about how del they delivered them. Some right. were, some had, some of them was happy, some were sad, some were bound. That's slavery. He said what he was riding on looked like a mountain. Right. Looked like a mountain. So what is that? that? Why a giant is this guy scoffing at the chariot? I mean, I mean, because he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. He should. He should bow down, man. That's it. You know, he's he should bow down to this truth. We have the truth. The Most High pointed us. That's yeah. right. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon. The number one camp out there is GMS. That's right. Yeah. Number two is Shikari. <laughs> number three, a distant third is IUIC. Ooh. And the ISUPK, they just fucked out. And that's, that's why I show up. That's why I'm a bad uh, Captain Desario, Captain Kazazak, they need to ease their asses down the road. Ease on down the road. They ease on down the road to GMS so you can get the full truth. That's it. Because you, I, I did the video on, um, I yeah, keep sorry. running, I did the video, uh, each end time uh, teachers did, did it, so I, I played off of it, you know, I did a re-off of it, and they went to Job, I believe they went to Job, yeah, they did yeah. go to Job, but they, would, but they would speak, they were breaking it down like you break down Job the third chapter. I right. said, no, you got to go deep, he's talking about America. Right. And yep. once right. I go right. into it, right. you're going to see it. Right, yep, yep, Simple. yep. So where we at? Wisdom of Solomon 501. Hold them pieces that I said hold. Then shall the right yeah, yeah, him. <laughs> then shall <laughs> then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made so no. So we've been afflicted. When we got over, how do we get over here? We got over here in cargo <laughs> slave ships. And then since you want to bring out all this stuff, how great and benevolent you you small hats are. Man, there's all there's all kind of stuff coming out on you right. that pretty much you ran the slave thing. That whole that yeah. whole thing was uh well you control orchestrated it. That whole thing was orchestrated with y'all, man. Yeah. A lot of those ships were owned by so called Jews. A lot of them insurance companies that insure so called oh, yeah. Jews had yeah. so the truth is coming out, man. Yep. Yeah. You should have shut the hell up when Ye started talking. Yeah. You should have shut the hell up when Kyrie started talking. But you scared Negroes, you niggas you Negroes that are doing well. You ain't gonna say nothing, man. Yep. I heard 50 Cent said, uh, what, what, he said, he made a statement about Kyle, Kyle or Ye. He said he shouldn't be, he messing us up. Because uh, cause you, see, you Jake, say, you're, you super, right. you super rich Jake. Right. You, you in a, you in a, a world, you in, you, you in your own world, man. You receive and your you, consolation. You receive consolation in this world. Yeah. Yep. So what's gonna happen? You're you gonna die. That's right. You're yep. gonna die. And then yep. when, and then when they put the, the carotid out there, which is the mark of the beast, which is a chip, the oh, microchip, yeah. you're gonna endorse it, man. Yep. And then you're gonna get on a guy, and then when it when it comes out, you're gonna go right to Kyrie. What do you think about the chip? Yeah, yeah. Daring them, daring them to say the chip is right. a rebel. So you know what? You're gonna have to take a stammer, man. I'm I know. I know you're gonna lose all that money. I know you're gonna hurt in the pockets. But guess what? You're gonna have to take a stammer, man. Yep. Moses took a stand. Oh, right. The, the, the Hebrews, Hebrews 11. 11. Should, yeah. Bring yeah. That go, go that. Go, go. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Psalm 62, verse 10. It says, Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. They don't see it as oppression. Just because they got a fancy car, a nice home. Mm -hmm. Right? But what did you have to do to get it? Right. To sell it. And what do you have to still do to keep it? Because you, you can always replace a nickel. You got uh, uh, Michael Jordan out there. There's 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 a million Michael Jordans out there. 
You know? It says, if riches increase, mm. set not your heart upon them. And that's what they did. They put their mind on it. Right. They they used to have them pe cook, cook for them. Top yeah. chef yeah. cook right. for them. Right. They used to go into another country or another uh, another state in a layer jet. They used to ha having yacht parties. They used right. to having Hollywood parties and mansions and so forth. Yep. They ain't trying to give that up. They ain't oh, trying was... to give that up. Yep. Yeah. That, was, that, that was it. Okay. That was, uh, Hebrews 11 and this is, uh, the scripture to back you up. Uh, riches maketh wings. Ah, oh, yeah. Is that Proverbs 23? I think it's Proverbs 23 and 4. Proverbs 23. Yeah, you can read that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 23. Hey, because the bottom line is this is we don't give a damn. Uh, hey, we don't give a damn about you, other people. If, you're, if you ain't part of the elect, we don't give a damn about you because we know you're going to die. We know you're going to take the karagma and you're going to ultimately die. No, that wasn't uh, and shit is gonna get hot after the elections. Hey, you got Barack. Oh, Barack Obama even spoke about it. It was this conspiracy oh, theory. Of Kyrie Irving. I said, man, you niggas, shut the fuck up, man. Like I told that chick in the video, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I said, yeah. hey, brother, I said, I, I, I said, I called it that, shut the fuck up. Yeah. And then later in the video, I didn't know. Y'all said, why well, I said, man, shut the fuck up. Because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. his first. Yeah. I said, you Israelites. We found out that you are Israelites, and you say you can only one that's gonna be saved. Well, that ain't true. And then she held up the Bible. Yeah. Bitch, you don't know shit. Right. Just shut the fuck yeah. up. Right. You're out of order. Yeah. Get okay. In, get in place. Yeah. Like she's an authority. So or you ain't no fucking authority, man. And the so-called black woman, right next to the so-called white man, you destroyed <laughs> our nation, man. Well, Is you're the second there? lieutenant to the yeah. to the white man, man. There's a scripture that said, through her we all die. Of, mm. the, of, of woman came the beginning of, of sin, sin, and through her, and through we, all her we all die. Right. So, you women so you're out of order. Say. If you open up your mouth, and, and there was one, the one woman that comes on my page, 12, was it 12 tribes of Israel or whatever? She talking shit, you gotta be a strong black man to have, handle a Judite woman and Benjamin. Oh, you yeah, know what yeah, I yeah, did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I blocked the rest, man. Don't you, don't you women come up saying anything that, then shalom, yep. great video, and keep it moving. That's yeah. it. Don't be bringing up no scriptures, man. Yeah. That's right. You ain't got no business up in that, up in that room there. It's not your place. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Shalom and shalom and keep it moving. That's it. That's it. Keep this your... ain't this ain't IUIC. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Proverbs 23. Well, this ain't flat. That's right. Different right. different times. Proverbs 23, verse 5. Will thou set thine eyes upon and that? I'm sorry, and speaking about these women. Where are these black women to be strong, uh, the strong black woman? Where's the black woman supporting Kyrie? Right. Huh? Yeah, where's the strong black woman? Where's the strong black woman to su supporting Ye? Yeah, celebrities. Yeah. The celebrities. Yeah. <clears throat> so you black women, you are demons, you black you so-called black men, you're a bunch of demons. And you all in, in order for you to become a multi-millionaire and your face is to be constantly on TV and out there in public, you gotta you gotta take oaths, man. Yep. You got to go to them Hollywood parties. You sold out. And, we, and you got to do what they tell you to do. Mm -hmm. You got to pop uh, certain men. Men got to pop you. You got to involve goats. yourself in, 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 in uh, yep, you got to pop goat, goats and so forth. We call it right in the goat. What's up with that? That's foul. Yeah, that goes back to the time of Pompeii, 79 AD. And yeah. uh, that was a big thing. Back in, back in Pompeii at that time, you would see posters on the wall of sex acts. Yeah. I mean, they were truly debaucherous, man. And this is what this society is getting into. Yeah. But, it was, but this society, believe it or not, is not as bad as the society of 79. And that's why the most side took them out that way. They all died by what? Asphyxiation. Yep. Right? Because there was heavily uh, orgies, men laying with men, women laying with women, with they men and women laying with goats. Yep. Yep. There's all kinds of shit with these super rich and fucking doing. They yep. had um, etchings on on the walls and all that rods. Yeah, and everything. exactly, exactly. You yep. know, uh, Proverbs twenty three verse five. It says, "Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings; Boom. they fly away as an eagle toward heaven." And that's what happened to to Ye's money, man. Now you know what that bet. Now Esau don't mind losing money because you know what, forty percent of sales of of Adidas was uh, by uh, Ye's projects. 
So when they said we ain't dealing with yay stuff no more, guess what? They lost almost half of their sales. Yep. Which is about a bit of a, like a uh, 1.8 billion or something like that. So really in punishing them, they lost, man. But you yep. know what? The small hats in the background said, don't worry about it. We'll send you a check. We'll print more money. I got a quick reset to back you up. Uh, Zephaniah 1 and 18. It says neither. It says neither that. Well, you know what? Let me start at 17. Uh, Zephaniah 1 and 17. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. This is when uh, the Heavenly Father sent back his son, Yahweh Shai, to bring judgment. Also, uh, those nuclear missiles. So you have the combination of the nuclear missiles and the chariots of the Lord bringing maximum damage. That's why this place is gonna be turned into a lake of fire. 100% of America is gonna be a lake of fire, okay? We understand why. Now here's the point, it says, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them. Because that's real money, and the average person yep. doesn't know what real money is. You know, you got Floyd, with, you know, the, the first 24-7 uh, when he fought uh, De La Hoya, he was cool with Philly, right? And, they, and he had a stack of money. He had 50 Gs. That represented about 50 Gs. It represented 50 Gs uh, of, of $100, $100 bills stacked at, uh, what is it, 10,000. You know, 10,000 times five or 50 Gs. So he was doing this shit like, he, like it was a phone. He doesn't realize that that stack is less than half of what it is because yeah. you, you don't understand money. That's right. Probably. Why do you think in that scripture it said, it said gold <coughs> and silver? Because the super rich, they deal with gold and silver. That's and real silver. money. Yep. All right, they deal with paintings. Uh, they deal with certain tangible things. Yeah. Yep. Like them, sm them sm small hats, you know, after the so-called Hitler thing, what they want, they said, look, they stole paintings. They stole gold and silver. Yep. Why do you think FDR uh, confiscated gold and silver? Because that's real money. Yep. And Question. what he did was, he gave you paper money. Yeah. yeah. They used to be backed by gold and silver. Exactly. And then they took that out. Because it, it would say it. It would say, uh, upon demand, uh, $20 uh, gold, I know what you're gonna bring out, uh, gold uh, certificate. Uh, on demand, one troy ounce of gold, or one troy ounce of silver, which, which was $1. This one, see. But there, there you go. Silver certificate. Silver certificate. So they made it look like the current dollar looks like a silver certificate, right. but it's not a silver certificate. Right on top. That's why you can't demand a gold coin with that. Right. Back then silver you can demand a gold coin, and the, and that's why you had vaults because you had top. gold and silver in the back. That's right. That's right. And like the Romans, they used to shave off the that's silver. It. That's it. Yep. Yep. And they'll shave it off what, to make other coins. That's called the monetize yeah. uh, the money. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then what they're doing now, they just print more money. Yep. The average, the average person in America, we're dealing with America. The average, average person doesn't understand nope. what's really going on. They don't know how they don't know how true money goes. Right, and they don't want to know. Willingly ignorant. Yeah, yeah, because they've been schooled in the school system. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 they're not they're not taught to think. They're taught how to think. Mm -hmm. right. Yep, Zephaniah one and eighteen again. Neither their silver nor their gold yep. shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. That's when Yahweh Shai comes back. By the way, those so-called UFOs, <laughs> which That's are right. the chariots of the Lord. That's, right. That's pursuant to uh, 2 Kings uh, 2 and 12, when Elisha, he saw the so-called UFO in the sky because the, the, uh, Elijah was abducted by a so-called UFO. So Elisha cried, he said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel. He was speaking to Elijah. So there's all kind of proof in uh, in the Bible of uh, the so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Lord. There's a book called Above Top Secret, and uh, the, the, the guy who wrote the book, he made reference to a scripture in the book of Ezekiel when he saw the so-called UFO. Ezekiel 1. Yeah, Ezekiel, the first chapter. So what are you talking about, Ron? Which, which described the, the chariots of, of the angels in detail. Yeah, Ron Dalton. Another another point that could be made is uh, why, why did the... First, uh, uh, Reagan called for it, outer space uh, right. uh, defense. Enemies. Yeah, enemy oh. defense. Salt 2. Okay, right, right. Salt 2, yeah. And then right, right. Trump 
brought it back. Right, right. Okay. Trump mentioned about a, a, we need a six military branch in outer space. For what? Yeah. The space force. You, what you're going to lose terribly. <laughs> yep. For yep. what? There'll be no place found in heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a Revelation 12. So the point is, there's all kind of points we can make, yep. uh, uh, credible points that prove that the so-called UFOs are very real, but they're not UFOs, which means unidentified flying object. They're actually the chariots of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good. Zechariah 9 and 14, it says, And the Lord shall be seen over them. Yeah, why? Because he's coming in the same way he left those clouds. There's different names for the sea. It's different names. We call them chariots, but they could be called clouds. They could be called, the, as one scripture, it called them the glory of the Heavenly Father. Yeah. They call them all kind of, all kind of, um, uh, what's that in Psalm 68? They were, they were white and, and, and salmon. And salmon. You yeah, know, yeah. so they could be called all kind of things. Um, cloud by but, day, pillar of cloud. Right, by, pillar a pillar, oh, a pillar of fire. By night, a pillar of fire. A wheel within the wheel. Um, that's the chariot. Yeah, wheel yeah, within wheel the within wheel. the wheel. So they could be called all kind of things, but you know, the main thing that we like to call them is the chariots. They were also yeah. called uh, uh, Saint Elmo's fire. Mm. That's what uh, Cristobal Colon called them. Yeah, because uh, on his way over here to the Americas, he was being guided by the so-called UFOs. He called it uh, St. Elmo's Fire. <coughs> okay. yeah, because they were going uh, to, they were they getting ready to kill him. They were going right. to mutinize against him. And then they looked up and the, the Lord sent out a, a ship to guide him because why? The man going to the Lord. So the Most High had to put the spirit on Christopher Columbus to come to the Americas. Everything that this man done, the Most High put him in the place to do what he got to do. Man, now you going now, and the Most High is pushing you, Edomites, it's backfiring on you, man. Yeah. Because too many Jakes, they realize the shit that they they got to deal with on their job, the so-called Jew. You know, they 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 realize, realize all that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like it. Yeah, it's like it. Yes, um, so it says. Go ahead. Yeah, it says, um, and the Lord shall be seen over them. And his arrow shall go forth as the lightning, and the and that's the, the uh, beams being shot from these these vehicles. Yeah, you know? that's where they get the movie uh, War of the Worlds from. The first one made back in what '52. What about the great UFO incident, where uh, you had a, a, a series of so-called UFOs that appeared right over Washington D.C. Oh, that right. happened in 1952. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you had this uh, uh, Truman was shitting in his in his panties. He said. Yeah, they sent out a bunch the, of homo homosexuals anyway. They sent out the Air Force. Yeah, Truman uh, gave the order to have the jets scramble. By the time the jets got up there, the so-called UFOs disappeared. Right. So they what are you playing, talking about? They were playing Ron, with you, man. Ron Dalton. That's Zachariah. Zachariah, get, get, get that real quick. Zachariah 5. Five, yeah. Okay. You, got you mean up? to tell yeah. me that the so-called yeah. white man can have a car, the top-of-the-line car, Maybach or whatever, <laughs> whatever the top-of-the-line car is, uh, what do, what do but the, the Heavenly do? Father that created everything, he can't have a vehicle? Remember the word chariot <laughs> goes back. That's why you got to go into the Hebrew and then on the, on the Greek. When you come to the Old Testament, the Hebrew. The word for chariot is is rakab or ma rakab. Right. Which rakab Re means? Rakab meaning to something that you ride. Right. On. Okay. And ma rakab is of riding. Of riding. Yeah. From from riding. From riding. Right? Yep. Yep. Which is a chariot. The word is not doesn't translate into the word chariot. Right. The, the Hebrew word is means something that you ride on. Right. Now. Oh, wait, the that song, Swing Down, Sweet Chariot. Mm -hmm. Let While me it's ride. Talking about the actual, yes. right, it, 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 look, it ain't, right. it, ain't, it, ain't uh, it ain't talking about no actual chariot with actual horses coming down from the heavens. Exactly. Right. Peg Pegasus. Right. Right. But now, now he said that. Well, see if you use that word chariot, and then he even goes to the Hebrew for the word uh, rakab. He said, you got to apply it to every script and no, we don't. No, that's no, right. we don't. It depends on the context. That's right. Exactly. Right. Because exactly. how can you explain? When Elijah came down, right. When I mean, when the chariot came down right. with the horses on fire, right. It was up in heavens, and it said that he was taken up. Right. He parted, he said he parted, parted them. He parted them from, Elijah from Elisha, from right. Elisha. And he was then taken yeah, up yeah, into right. heaven. Come on, man. And yeah. uh, he said, "My father, my father, the chariot of Israel." Right. The chariot of Israel. He didn't say a UFO. The same thing with Wallace Willis. Right. When he was working in the in the plant on the plantations, they used to see the so-called UFOs all the time. They weren't called UFOs back then. Right. Then he, he sang that song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, coming for the carry me home. Why did he want it to go home? Because of the oppression he was catching in those slave fields, in the cotton fields. Yeah. He wanted to go home. Where's home? I look over the river. Oh!
And what, what did, did I, I see? see? Where's the river Jordan? In, in the land of Israel. A band of angels. A band of yeah. angels coming, coming after me. That's how the Lord yeah. is coming back. Mm -hmm. So once again, Raul Dalton, Dalton, you failed. <laughs> yeah, because another thing you teach, you say that uh, that you got Israelites <laughs> against African groups. Well, first of all, it depends on which African type of African you're talking about. Right. Remember, Israelite. Israelite fled mainly in 70 AD to the Africans, and they fled as far as they can to the west. But right. so you had Israelite communities already down there. Right. You had a major community in Alexandria, Egypt. Yep. Right. All right. Yep. You had one up in northern Africa. Yep. Uh, exactly. Well, then you ultimately you had all throughout West Africa, yeah, and South yeah, Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, we were escaping from escaping from the onslaught yeah. of the uh, of the Romans, of the Romans during yeah. the time of. Uh, Titans, Titan, you know? yeah. But then we had, then you had some of our uh, Israelites go up into uh, Europe, Asia yeah. Minor. Yep. And guess what? They had people up there. There was all there was multi millions of people up there in Asia Minor. Yeah, ba Europe. Babylon. A, a Babylon. Elam. Right, because you had a church in yeah. Babylon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Israelites chapter. everywhere. Yeah. Isaiah the eleventh chapter. The Lord shall uh, go again the second time to recover a remnant of his people That's right. which shall be left from Syria and then it names Egypt and different parts of the world. And then it says when, when we're gathered and Ephraim and Judah come together, which that's uh, Isaiah 11 is not talking about back then. Right. That That is yet to happen. <coughs> yep. They got it. The two kingdoms got to come together. Right. And then when the two kingdoms come, come together, then they're going to jack up the mother nation. They mentioned Edom. Yep. They mentioned Philistine. They yep. mentioned Moab. And they mentioned, uh, they mentioned Moab and uh, Ammon. Yeah, and all the wars that Jake had was a lot of them were against you no know, Ham Hamitic tribes. Hey, this guy wrong Dalton and scoffing against the chariots. And Matthew twenty four thirty tells you when Yahushua comes back, he's gonna gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. Now, how the hell is he gonna do that without a so called without a, a, a yeah. you know a, a powerful uh, vehicle, right. a powerful um, uh, mode of transportation, exactly. so to speak. Yeah. That's and, your so-called UFO. That's and, your chariot. And fast because those yeah. those those missiles Ooh. will be on their way at, at the, the same, same time. time. So yeah. what what can take us right. out? You, you know, yeah. it has to be fast. You know? Right. And what about what the Apostle Paul said, First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter? Uh, it speaks about uh, how we shall be caught up with. the then he said, "Wherefore, comfort one another with these, these words." words. Yeah. Right. If, if, if we could, if we could read it, right. You know, first and, and, and that's, okay. that scripture, but that scripture that that, that, that he was holding, it says that it was a flying roll. Right. Right. What the hell is that talking about? Right. Donut it? rolls don't fly. Right. Was it a Kaiser roll? <laughs> a butter roll. You know, a buttered roll with butter on it. More butter. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. You bring it out. Okay. Okay. You want? You bring want it out. Uh, first Thessalonians. Okay. First Thessalonians. Yeah. Because, 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 uh, uh, as you read on, it says, "Wherefore comfort one another with these words." So not only, not only are we set up to rebuke and reprove, we're also set up to comfort and exhort as part of our ministry. First Thessalonians four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Four, Sixteen. And uh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. First Thessalonians four and six, verse sixteen. It says, "For the Lord Himself shall descend." No, no, no. Start fifteen. Four, three, fifteen. Believe. Or three believes. It's a lot. Yep, you got it. As First Thessalonians chapter four, verse fifteen. For uh, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain. What's the part that said, "For if we believe that how shall we?" Um. Fourteen. Fourteen. That's a lot. Uh, First Thessalonians four and fourteen. For if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, which we do believe, that's the cornerstone of our faith. Go ahead. Even so, them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will Yahweh bring with him. Those are the brothers that died in the faith. God. We, we know a few of them. You know, let's start with uh, Rabbi Abba Bivens. He died in the faith. He's going to be brought back. King Marsha, mm -hmm. Yaikwab, uh, Elder High Priest Yaikwab. These great men, they died in the faith, so they're coming back. We don't believe they're dead. And many others. And many, many others. others. We yeah. don't believe they're dead. We believe those men are just sleeping. And when the time comes, how about Shemiah and Shai gonna raise those men back up? They're resting. They're resting. Isaiah 57. Go ahead. Uh, for, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord yep. shall not prevent them which are asleep. Yep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, 
With a shout, go ahead. With the voice of the archangel. Go ahead. And with the trump of the most high. Go ahead. And the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. Again, those are the brothers that died in the faith. Wait a minute, where are the dead? Where are yeah. they buried? Where's yeah, yeah, yeah. buried? Where my yeah, right. buried? Where yeah. Yaakov buried? Where all the men, yeah. the saints, men and women, right. where they buried? They buried in America. Yep. They right. ship my King Mashal to Israel. They ship Yaakov yeah, to Israel. Good, that's a good point. They that's ship right. Malak to Israel. They ship right. Abba to Israel. That's right. And Malcolm X, you know, Martin Luther King, they're all in America, man. Right. I'm not saying that they're of the elect. Mm -hmm. They're Israelites. So everything's going to come. The, the, the great deliverance gonna, is going to come yes, out of America. So why would you say, oh, we got to go back to America, back to Africa? Because uh, and let, if you ain't got a, a, a topic, just go into one of his videos. You'll get you'll get a topic get a laugh, real quick, man. Well, you know, not a laugh. He just doesn't know. The most side didn't yeah, yeah, open I, up his eyes. Yeah, yeah. You know, but but he's full of pride. Yeah. So when he sees That's us, instead saying. of saying, man, that makes sense. Let me watch more of these videos. Right. He'll buck up against it, man. Like I said, this man having said sentence one since this whole thing. The last time you made it, if I'm I could be wrong, could be a week ago. But I but if you go to his that page that he got, uh what is it? It was the Hebrews and Negroes. I think it's uh Hebrews and the Negroes, Moses Levy, something like that. If you go to that page, that's where all his videos are. It goes back for a number of years. And the very last video, I checked it last night. Mm -hmm. If you watch my video, it was two weeks ago. In two weeks, a lot of things happened in two weeks, man. Oh, yeah. Really, two, three weeks. A lot of stuff happened with this whole Kyrie thing. Yeah. So where's your video? Why Why haven't they called this guy yet? You're talking about this is an anti, they, this, this movie was uh, spewing anti-Semitic trope. What the fuck is a trope? Somebody please look up the word trope. Okay. Anti-Semitic. Well, well, why don't you get the guy that made the movie? Why don't you, why don't you put him on, on blast? What about, what about the man that owns the platform, which is Amazon, which is Jeff Bezos. By the way, Bezos is a, is a, a, na a Spanish name, but his, his real name is Jorgensen. See, we do research, man. Yeah. Cause when you go to Google and you put in Be is Bezos and then they'll, they'll say, Everybody thinks Bezos is a Jew. No, he's not a Jew. He's a, he's, he's a Norwegian. But his mother remarried, got divorced from his father, and meet and remarried a Cuban guy. And the Cuban, and he took his, his stepfather's name, which is Bezos. Ah. Mm. And well, the, the, the Rothschilds. So he might, he could be a Jake. Yeah. Mm. Paul Kersey. We don't know. It's not like we're making everybody a Jake. Right. right. It's just it, it could be a point where he could be a Jake. I mean, I doubt it. Yeah. Well, here's a point to be made with those uh, banking families. They change their names anyway. Yeah. The, the uh, Rockefellers. Yeah, so he could be a small hat. Right. Yeah, the Rockefellers. He could be a straight up common Edomite from Nor yep. uh, the Nor Nor region, uh, Norway. Nor mm -hmm. Norway. Mm -hmm. You know, he could be a Jake. You know, he could, but he better hope he's a Jake because if he's an Edomite, he's going into slavery. He's going into slavery. Yeah, yeah the, the Rockefellers. Bill Gates is an Edomite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, they do that to um hide. they do that to uh hide themselves. Hide themselves, yeah. 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 Change their names, you know? Yeah, because the, the five sons of uh Meyer and Shaw Rothschild, then they do that too. Yeah. Then they change they their names. Yeah, yeah. And they went to different yeah, places. They went to different huh? places and, and, and changed their names. Yeah. 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 And then as the years went on and shit, people done forgot, you know, who they were. Yep. You know? Well, that's how they hide themselves. Yeah. Because their power, see, they understand their power is in hiding, hiding yeah. themselves. But now that's why the Apostle Paul said it best that man of sin be revealed, be exposed. Yeah. So they're being exposed. They can't hide anymore. Two weeks ago, anyway, Pastor, was last time he did a video. Okay, that, well, like I said, like I said. Mm. So, but they, they, they haven't put him on, on blast. They haven't put Basil. Basil, who, what, what happened, huh? I hit myself when I was trying to no, swap that fly. I mean, the, the B. <laughs> Satan messing, messing with them all day. Spiritual fly. Yeah. Yeah. Trope, um, the definition for trope is a, a figurative or metaphor, metaphorical use of a word or expression. Right. Pretty much. Read that again. Uh, the definition of trope is a, a figurative or metaphorical use of a word or expression. So what, so what the, I mean, what, what's negative about that? What's negative about that? Nothing negative. What does it say tro trope in the, sen in the sentence? Uh, they don't, usually they give an example, they didn't give an There's example. a phrase here. Well, hold up, what is a trope example? Right, exactly. The phrase, stop and smell <laughs> the roses. 
and the meaning we take from it is an example of okay so that's a damn trope right the the grass is green on the other side right right, right. that's right. a trope right so uh, don't count your eggs before they hatch right that's a trope yep. don't put all your eggs use right. anti-traumatic yep. semitic tropes and then he said that he's semitic and by the way esau's powers in their words yes right. And you know, they know they're not the people of the most side because they don't, how many of them call themselves Israelites? They don't. Name me one of them that call itself, and we're the Israelites. No. None. Because they're not the Israelites. So they're really not lying to you. They're just deceiving you. Yeah. They call themselves Jews. Right. They call themselves Jews, which J didn't even come about until the, uh, was it 1524? Yeah. By, uh, what's, what's the guy? Casino. Casino, Casino, yeah. Casino right? Yeah. And uh, another thing, um, they call it the land of Israel, they call it the state of Israel. Right. Mm -hmm. State, it means condition. Condition, yeah. All right? They call themselves Israeli. They call themselves Israelis. Right. And then the, and then the people, uh, the Israelis are even dark-skinned people that look right. like Palestinians. Yeah. The, the, the pay, like I, I picked up this one woman, uh, what was she? She was our, uh, our Iranian, right? But she was cool. This is like the second time I picked up an Iranian. They're real cool. They really they talk, get in the conversation, and she said, I'm a Jew. And then I, in my mind, I was thinking about it. She said, I'm not, nope, I'm not one of them. Mm. I'm not one of the white European. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Jew that goes back, what do you say? I think she says a Sephardic. Mm. Mm. There's a lot right, of right. things, a Sephardic Jews, yeah. I have to be J. Yeah. Mm. You know? Mm. Those are those crypto Moors and so forth. Crypto Jews. It's a lot of history, man. Which, uh, crypto means history. Yep. Yeah, that's it for truth. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, where were you at, Seth? I believe we were in First Thessalonians. Oh, Thessalonians four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. First Thessalonians four and and uh, I'm gonna read it again. And, and fourteen. It says, "For if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will the Most High bring with him. Uh, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord." that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Mm -hmm. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. Yep. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together Wait with... Shall be caught up together how is that possible yeah. caught up together what does yeah. that mean caught up yep. together yep. we're on Dalton mm -hmm. being up that means being up caught up together means mm -hmm. abducted man yeah just like the same way uh, uh Elijah was caught up mm -hmm. into the chariots Enoch. I guess you don't believe that huh? Enoch Enoch yeah another example Enoch go ahead then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds now there's a scripture where it says who maketh the clouds his chariot, right. Psalm 104. Psalm 104. You want me to get that? No, no, you don't okay. have to get it. Okay. Psalm 104 and uh, about the third verse. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. So sometimes when you read clouds in the Bible, it's really talking about the chariot of the Lord. Sometimes it's talking about clouds. Actual clouds, yeah. And sometimes when it says clouds coming with the clouds, right. meaning you have UFO, uh, Project Blue Book, whatever. It yep. was called Operation Blue Book. Right. There's an actual picture. I got the book somewhere in the crib where you have an actual UFO, but it's a, it's a cloud. In, uh, oh, yeah. I know. Exactly it's it all in itself. Yep. And, and, it, and you yep. can see that the cloud looks like a UFO. Then the next frame, you can see the, the, the cloud dissipate. Right. So, and there's actually UF, there's actually videos and photographs of UFOs that look just like clouds. Yep. They turn into UFOs. Yep. Right. There's this one video. The what's the brother's name? He puts all these little short videos of UFOs. Ah, uh, you talking about a little, um, little three, a little one minute? I believe his name is Manatizak. Yeah, but the, the page he got is GMS something. Oh, uh, get this work. All right. No, 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 not him. But there's another one. Oh, well, they I had the, the, the music. Dun, 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 dun. They had that crazy music. Oh, I don't know. Well, I subscribe to him. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. here's, here's a video of him where it shows. An actual you have a plane, a regular American plane, right. 747, actually turning into a, oh shit, morphing into a UFO. Oh mm. shit! So it went from being a UFO to turning into a plane, oh. back to turning into a UFO. Oh man! I know the recent one they got out is a, is a, a sphere 
came a big ass sphere, it looked like a little planet came down. And it just stood there for a long time. Well, now they're showing themselves. Yeah, and Zachariah, and, Zachariah 5. Yep. yep. Zachari Zachariah 5 said this is going to be a, a curse that goes over the whole earth and they enter into the house of the thief. The house of the thief mm -hmm. is, a, is a, you know, America. Yeah. yeah. So, what, so what are the angels doing? They're taunting you. Yeah. They're yeah. having fun with you. Yeah. Yep. You know? Yeah. And you got certain brothers in Israel saying you got to be more serious about that. Angels be having fun. Oh, yeah. Elijah, yeah. when Elijah... When he when he's getting on the the, the four hundred prophets of Baal, he wasn't. Uh, I yeah, guess like no, he was he was acting like a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> See, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's because you want to think that Abraham and Isaac and all of them, were all yeah, 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 had yeah, English yeah, accents. Yeah, yeah. No, they were regular guys. Right, they right, laughed yeah, and yeah. joked. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and they, like and they whipped this. ass every now and then. Yeah, yeah, I was shy. Joke going on. Yeah, the, sure the James and John. Yep. Oh, he yeah. Him the okay, okay. Sons of Thunder. Sons of Thunder. Sons of Thunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was joking with him, man. Yep. Yeah. Right. yeah, go ahead. Man. Okay, it says, um, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. And that's what we expect it to happen to us. Yeah, Why? Because absolutely. we're doing this work. Right. The Most High made it, gave us many promises, man. Yep. That if you do this work, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right. So all we are doing and doing and doing and doing what we're doing is and doing this work. We're doing this work, and that's what it means by saved. Because a lot of you wacky tacky uh, Christians, you don't understand the concept of being saved. Well, you they're know, not going to be saved anyway. You run around talking about, are you saved? Have you, have you? Received? No, you're saved when you're in the ship. When you get exactly. in the ship, then you're saved. Then you're saved. That's short for the word fucking salvation. Salvation. All right. Meaning to that so-called UFO that abduct you and take snatch you out of the fiery soup, because that's what's coming—a a, a wave of fire, water, fire like water. Yeah. That's why this this, this place is going to be known as what the Lake of Fire, the Lake of Fire. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it says uh, so then you know yep. the scriptures say they have a zeal but not according to knowledge. Right, right. Yeah, salvation. Have you been saved? And <laughs> you know, you know they um. These missiles, they got, they got like up to ten warheads each missile, right? Yeah. That's a but one warhead is stronger than those atomic bombs that they dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Thank yeah. you. So, so, so this guy, we got 200, 200 uh, million, two hundred million, two hundred million, two hundred million warheads are gonna two hundred thousand dollars, right? Two hundred million warheads are gonna they gonna they're gonna drop on Amer on America, but one of those is more powerful than the ones that were dropped by Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's why America is going to be turned into a lake of fire. It's yeah. The earth is going yeah. to yeah. fro like a drunkard. Yeah. Yeah. Haggai, yep. Haggai, uh, was it? Haggai 2 and 6. Yeah, it's going to be an inferno, man. Yeah. That's why America is going to be turned into a lake of fire. Yeah. That's yeah. why the, the, the Apostle John described America as being a, what? A lake of fire. Yeah. And you get Malachi 4 and 1. So how the hell are you going to be delivered from that? How are you going to be delivered from that lake of mm -hmm. fire? Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 For behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven The whole yeah. earth is not going to burn as right. an oven This place that is called America mm -hmm. is going to burn as an oven right. What's going to make it burn as an oven And it's not talking about an easy bake oven Right. You right. know, I ain't talking about the oven that you got in your in your apartment right. where you open it up and you put it on four yeah. Niggas put on everything on 450 <laughs> <laughs> tell, me, tell me I'm lying And they burn the shit they put on 450, not 500, not yeah. boiler. They put on 450. Yeah, you're right. You know? And Everybody. They, put, they yeah. put it in there and they come back. No, yeah. let's talk about an ancient oven. Right. An, ancient, an, an ancient oven is where they made the, the unleavened bread and the bread, like the naan. Yeah. It, it, it will take you a couple of seconds to cook the bread. You make the dough, put it on the oven. The, the East Indian restaurants do that. They have right. that stove back non, there. The non bread. The, the, the non bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll throw it on there, they'll throw it over, and in about right. five seconds, the bread is done. It's done. So that's what that's what oven is talking about. It's talking about an ancient oven. Right. So that you, you had to put the, 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 the food on, turn it over real quick. You had to be an expert in cooking. Yeah. Or you burn it. Yep. So, so America's going to burn as an oven. Yeah. That's what that's talking about. Yep. It was How a, do we understand that? You got to put precept upon precept. precept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was that oven that uh, was that Nebuchadnezzar. Oh. He said to make the oven seven times yep. hotter. Yep. Yep. And then uh, hey, they made the oven that hot. And when they uh, 
forgot who the the wicked men the guards that tried the guards yeah the, yeah. the, 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 the heat alone vaporized yeah yeah took them out yeah now, that was a hot oven yeah well america is going to be hotter than that go ahead all right it says for behold and, uh, fire is no, fire is nothing to joke with oh no because um it's motivation uh, yeah you, know, you don't want to think about rich, rich fire yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire is inspirational, said, said it's inspiration. inspiration. But I'm yeah, thinking I'm of the, the, the towers. Yeah. You know why the people jumped out of the towers? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd rather jump out and take their chances, yeah. right, it's than being, what? Burned alive. Burned alive yeah, yeah. in damn. those towers. Damn. Yeah, damn. The heat was so so Intense. unbearable in those towers. They had people hanging out the window. You know, they would, You know, they showed you that the, 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 the footage of the Twin Towers. Yeah, they were holding hands. You had people outside the window. Yeah more than a hundred stories up and feeling that damn heat and they held hands and they yep. said let's jump they already knew what, what they were going to do they were going to die as soon as they hit oh and then the fire the firemen yep. they kept hearing explosions right, right. and they were what is it and the, the explosions were the bodies yeah hitting the ground and ah! hey, if you take a penny and throw it a hundred stories and it hits on somebody top of the head going it's going to kill them yeah. 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 That's that force. Yep, G -force. Every yep. the G force. Yep. Every every time you go an uh, inch, it, it builds up. Come. Uh, yeah. it, what is it called? It's momentum. Uh, exponential. Oh. Exponential. Exponential. Yep. It builds up. That right. force builds up. Right. Yep. You know. Yeah. Velocity. So that's what happened. They said, "Man, we ain't feeling this fucking flame. We going. Yeah. You know, we going to jump. At least you'll die quick." You know. Because that's a brutal way to die. But they so died. Far. They died brutally, man. Damn. Yeah. Damn, boy. Yep. And you, that's and that's that's what's gonna happen to America. That's why I said the day shall come that shall burn as it what? As an oven. That's right. You read that again? It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. So we know what that's talking about. Yeah. We know it's talking about America, it's talking about the Babylon the Great. We talk we know that's talking about Revelation 18 coming to pass, Revelation 13 coming to pass, Revelation of uh, 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 Jeremiah 49, 50, 51. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 13, Isaiah 14. Go ahead. And all the proud, yay. Who are the proud? Esau. Yep. Esau, yep. You have, the, and the, the number one of the, of the list of the proud is going to be these small hats. Yep. These people are proud, man. And they don't, they don't believe in forgiving nobody. Because Kyrie said he offered them half a million dollars. And you know what they did? They said, no, nah, we don't want your damn money. That's that fucking pride, man. You know why they said that? Because they got nothing but money. Yeah, they got exactly. nothing but money, thinking, man. I was just thinking about yeah. Um, so they offered them money. They wanted they, they they wanted something deep. They wanted, oh, come to find out he's supposed to meet with the commissioner. The commissioner is a so-called uh, a small hat. Right? Yeah. The commissioner before that guy was a small hat. We're finding out what Kanye what Kanye West said. That they control everything. And they do. They do. It's not what you this own, it's blessing. what you fucking control. Right. You don't control nothing. A nigga could be worth worth a billion dollars one day and could be homeless the next day right. if the white man pulls a switch on your ass. Yep. But we keep telling you this is not your kingdom. Right. This is not your kingdom and you're not in control. Right. Well, but I'm worth uh, five billion dollars. <laughs> but you know how many lawsuits you can have employees working for you that are set up as agents? Mm. Well, you looked at me the wrong way. You did this. Yep. You did that. You didn't treat me that way. You you racist over here. You. You know what I'm saying? So and all of a sudden it. they break. Well, they did. They did. They did, they did that to. Uh, they did that to uh, Alex Jones. Yeah. They 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 fined him for for almost three trillion dollars. There's nations that don't have three trillion three three trillion dollars. <clears throat> That's total bankruptcy. I mean, total annihilation financially. And he was basically he was coming against the small hands. Yep. He was revealing a lot of their inside shit. He was revealing a lot of their. Um, their inside stuff. Yep. Kind of. They were being exposed. So mm -hmm. really the Heavenly Father used them too. Yep. Alex Jones. The Heavenly Father used him to uh Alec the Heavenly Father used Alex Jones to reveal uh But then again, he ain't saying to I gotta I gotta watch it. I haven't watched him in a couple of days. Yeah, I mean in the beginning. About well he 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 is accused of uh, being a, an apologist for the small act. He never mm. says anything bad about the small Yeah, act. usually yeah. when you when you point him on that, he gets mad. So we don't know. You know? The jury's still out on this thing. Yeah, because I was thinking about the, the Bohemian Skull and Grove. Bones. Maybe oh, he's yeah. just an insider. Yeah, we, don't, we, don't, yeah. we don't know. Yeah, because he did say uh, years ago, 
He, he spoke about the Israelites and he never mentioned anything about the royal black Hebrew Israelites. This was years ago, yeah. but he never mentioned anything on it. Yeah, because the um, reason why I say that too is because when you go in the book of uh, Psalm 64, it says that the Lord said that he would cause their tongue to fall upon them. Well, that, no, that's true. That's so true. if this so, guy yeah, is an yeah, insider. Yeah, but he's still it, telling the truth. Still, yeah. they, you know, they still got to give you certain truths. Yeah, if oh, yeah, a, yeah. If, in other words, that right there, that shows you the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai. And it shows you that the so-called white man really ain't controlling nothing. He's a puppet too. Right. He's a puppet of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son. Right. And now the Heavenly Father's putting the spirit on the, the, the people that are connected to the Illuminati to reveal their own self, even if they didn't want to. The Heavenly Father putting the spirit on them to reveal their own self. Why? Because that's all a process of them going down. They're going down, man. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Uh, says, that's, that's the order of the day. What's the order of the day? You go in a restaurant. <laughs> what's the soup of the day? What's the order of the day? Esau is going down. We're in the we're in the time where the, uh, Esau's kingdom is going down, and there's nothing he can, he can do about it. He can't stop it. It's inevitable. A uh, quick precept. But before he goes down totally, the last action that's going to bring him down totally is Yahweh Shai coming back with those angels. After that, man, Esau's done. He's finished. But before he goes down totally, the Heavenly Father is, is making him reveal himself. Yeah. He's being revealed by the prophets of the Lord, and, and at the same time, he's being revealed by the insights. And that's pursuing the Psalm 64. Uh, I got a quick precept yeah, to yeah, back you up. Yeah. It says, Proverbs 16 and 4, it says, The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked, for the day of evil. Yeah, the, the, uh, the day of evil is talking about Yahweh Shai coming yeah. back. That's uh, the word evil means bad time. So when Yahweh Shai comes back, that's going to be, well, Zephaniah, uh, Zephaniah uh, uh, 1 and 14. Okay. Zephaniah 1 and 14 tells you about that day, the day of the Lord. Uh, go ahead and read. Okay, it. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 14. Yep. The, the great day of the Lord is near. Now, this is the time of evil. The Lord has made the wicked for what? The day of evil, right? Yep. So this is, this is the day of evil that, that we're about to read. And who is the wicked? Esau, Edom, who's in power right now. <clears throat> Go ahead. It says, the great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hasteth greatly. Go ahead. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. Go ahead. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. When it says, even the voice of the day of the Lord, there, there's going to be a voice said in Hebrew, come out of her, my people, mm, right. that ye be not part. Right before we hit those chariots, right. Ron Dalton. <laughs> going up. Yep. Yeah. Right come up hither. Right. Come yeah, out and all my say, people. Get, it doesn't say get passports and go to Ghana. Right, right, right. <laughs> you get, because, because you're gonna get caught up. You're gonna get caught up in here in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna look. What do you think the time of Jacob's trouble is all about? Right, right. The, the people that's gonna get hit the hardest during the time of Jacob's trouble are Jakes in America. That's yep. when all hell breaks loose. That's it. Yep. <laughs> so, so in all that hell breaking loose, that's when we're gonna be delivered. And it mentions Michael and and, and uh, yep. Daniel. Matter of fact, all one. that Daniel yeah, twelve. Twelve okay. one, yep. Yeah, the, the, uh, the voice of, what, what Zephaniah said, the uh, voice? It says, even the voice of the day of the Lord. That voice is going to be, come out of her, my people, yeah. that ye be not partakers of her plagues. That's in mm -hmm. uh, Revelation, what is that, 18 and 4? Yeah. Now that voice is going to be said in Hebrew. Now don't don't say it's not possible because uh, Saul, <laughs> when Saul was uh, knocked off the horse on his way to Damascus, he actually heard a voice come out of the chariot right and the, it was the voice of the lord and the lord said unto saul <laughs> why persecutest thou me saul it is hard for thee to kick against the bricks so a voice can come out that chariot okay oh when when uh, the transfiguration yahweh shai when um uh uh yahweh shai transfigured himself a voice came out the chariot this is my beloved son right. in whom i am well did pleased. he speak english right he spoke in hebrew right. this is my beloved son right. in whom i'm well pleased hear ye him Right. So voices can come out the chariots. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Surround so sound like a pastor always says. That's it. Uh, okay. you want Daniel twelve and one apostle? Yeah, go ahead and read that. Okay. And then go to Ze uh, Zeph is it back to Zephaniah. Yeah, that's part. Zechariah five. Oh, Zechariah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Daniel's twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Yeah, this Michael is talking about Michael the Archangel, which Yahweh Shai is coming with. He's coming with a, a band of angels, like the song says. Right. A band of angels coming after me. Right. Go ahead. And there shall be a time of trouble. 
such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. Yeah, it says a time, not yeah, a, a, time. a bunch of different times, but right. a time. Right. Yep. There's no such thing as every time Israel's mm -hmm. in trouble, that's a, that's a Jacob's trouble. Right. No, right. We, Jacob is in trouble, but that's not the time of Jacob's trouble. Right. The time of Jacob's trouble, you cannot compare it to any other time in history. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to get bad out here, man. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of death out here. Yeah. That's why Michael, the archangel, got to come with Yahweh Shai. It's going to get so yeah. bad. Yeah. Go ahead. And at that... Was that the same angel that helped uh, change the mind of Cyrus? Yep. Yeah. So that, that's, Michael, once again, yep. history repeating itself. Go ahead. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Get yeah. ready to happen. The elect. And it mentions Michael again in, a, what is it, Revelation 12. The elect, man, thy people shall be delivered. Who's that? That's the elect of the nation of Israel, not every Israel. That's right. Go ahead. You, for proof of that, go to Matthew 24 and 30. He shall deliver who? The elect. The elect from the four corners of the earth. Yep. Tom. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. The elect. The elect. The elect. Yep. That's right. <laughs> not all Israel. Just because you're an Israelite does not right. mean that you're written in a book. Right. Just because you're an Israelite doesn't mean that you want to be elect. That's right. Yeah, that's why Peter said, give diligence to make thy calling and election sure. That's why we do what we do. If we're, when we're not out here on the street teaching we, all during the week, what are we doing? Taking a vacation? Going on, on a sabbatical? No, we're out there doing, we're doing videos. Right? You know, and we do videos of edification, man. We go into words, break it down, go into the history. You get a whole smorgasbord, like they say, of uh, this meal, this knowledge, which is like a meal, okay? Yes. And if you ask a question, a lot of y'all come on there and you say, oh, I don't want to take you out of your way. But you... No, just ask a question. I got a question. You know, Lord willing, can you answer for me? That's it. And guess what? If I don't get to it, keep asking. Right. I might forget the question. That, that happened a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get so many <clears throat> notifications, I forget that somebody asked me a question yeah. two days ago. Yeah. So ask, ask possible ball, ask possible, you know, Possibly ask any and he asks ask me again. Yeah, yeah. It'll you know? get answered. Well, there's a scripture that says, wear out the, 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 the steps. Mm -hmm. uh, if thou find a man with understanding, wear out the steps. Well, of the wait stone. a minute, wait a minute. You you just mentioned about Michael coming in to the aid of Yahweh Shai. It's for, what was that, Cyrus? That yeah, uh, it area. was one of the, uh, Darius or Cyrus, one of the, I mean, the it's words. It's in the words. Persian yeah. kings. Daniel, Daniel 10. But well, what did Daniel do? He kept praying to the Lord and fasted. Cyrus. 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 Yeah. Okay, Cyrus. He kept praying to the Lord and he fasted for three weeks, three weeks. 21, days, 21 days. And he figured, wow. look, the Lord is holding me up. No, yeah, the Lord yeah. wasn't holding, holding you up. The Lord was doing something else. And then yeah. he finally came to you. Matter of fact, go to that. Go, let's right. go to that, man. Well, Yahweh Shai gave, to back up Pastor Ha, Yahweh Shai gave a Start uh, from the top. Yahweh Shai gave a beautiful parable about that old woman who kept Go into that unrighteous judge, judge. Unrighteous judge. Yeah. yeah. Now you know the word Esau used, importunate. Yeah. Now I looked up that word importunate. It means to to beg to the point of uh, the person is nauseated and, and by that. Yeah. yeah. You just keep begging. You just keep begging. So we, uh, and that's this, to a wicked man. I don't want right. to hear this woman no more. Right. So we're we're doing that to a, a righteous God. Yeah. Yeah. Give him no rest till he made Jerusalem a praise. In the Shut earth. Yep. Shall he not avenge his own elect, which cry unto him day and night? Day and night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's us, man. We crying, man. We crying for help. Not you, uh, uh, Ronald Dope. <laughs> nah, you ain't. Crying. You got to. You got to get with the program. You hey, you got to drop all that shit and get with the program. That's right. Hey, you got. You got. You got. You got to get with a winner and get. Throw, throw out that chicken dinner. Throw out that's the right. chicken dinner. Cut that zero. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Cut, that, cut zero. that zero and get with a get hero. Get with a hero. That's Howard Shai. Howard Shai. Looking for a hero. <laughs> Motherfucking hero. Not not the not the follow Bishop Nate. Follow GMS and you'll pass the test. You pass the test. <laughs> not not the Bishop Nate. He's not the hero. And that, that, uh, uh, what's his name? The, uh, the that guy's a uh, uh, what the hell is his name? Jake. Some some dude calling to drop 50, 50 bucks. You dropped 50 bucks on, uh, what the hell is his name? The guy from Chicago. You sent me the video. You sent me the video. Dropped 50 uh, Corey, bucks. Corey Holcomb? Oh, yeah, right. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He dropped, uh, somebody from IUIC dropped 50 bucks on Corey Holcomb. He said, thank you. He said, but I don't know who the hell that is. They were trying to pick up Nathaniel. 
He said, I don't know who the hell that is. No, he read the, 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 the with the fifty dollars he read the comment. The right. comment said that Bishop Nathaniel Bishop Nathaniel is the most powerful man on the planet Earth. Some yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah, then, then he said thanks for the fifty dollars, but I don't know who the hell that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that I mean, shows have, you how much how much you'd have to see get. it. You'd have to see it. Yeah. Um, yeah. that don't make no sense. He's the most. They got they got him thinking that he's a god. Man. Oh yeah. yeah exactly. exactly. You, better, you better not be like Harry hey, right, brother. Yeah. Most I take you out, man. No, that I, shit is yeah. going to your head. I was and, thinking, and the Most High didn't bring no one man. Right, right. The Most, right. The most High brought a many body. prophets. A body. Right. A body. Well, he has 144,000. Body of and these guys. And we can see right through him. Yeah. I'll give it to. I'll give it to him. He says a lot of things true, but he goes yeah. off on certain things. Right. I mean, the way the guy, the way he put the comment, like Bishop Nathaniel is, is the Most High himself. Right. Right. Like he's Yahweh Shai himself. Yeah. And then Corey Holcomb. Did. The, the response he gave was yeah, priceless. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, hey, thanks for the $50. I don't know who the hell he's talking about. Right. You, you have to watch it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's I wish I had moment. the video. Yeah. You know, I get rid of the, you know, stuff. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> where was Bishop Nathaniel? We should have rebuked that guy, whoever that guy was. You don't be making statements like that. And the scripture said, speak yeah. about person being a man that trust, trusted in man. Yeah, yep. yeah. Hey, well, the Apostle Paul said that he wrote these things so that no one would think of man above what is written. Hey, if anybody in GMS did that, starting with Apostle Allen Down, that guy would be severely rebuked, man. Yeah. May even lose it if he has any kind of position, may even lose it. You don't be making no look, mm -hmm. the only there's only one savior, and that's Yahweh right. Shah. That's it. Okay? That's it. That's it. And he's not even calling on Yahweh Shah. He's right. calling on Jesus. And then they're teaching that uh, he's Elijah. Which you and, and and you know what? That's people in your high up in your leadership position. Uh, Bishop Nate. All right, now you're calling yourself apostles. The Acts of the Apostles in the DR. Y'all are teaching that Bishop Nathaniel is Elijah, the prophet, coming back. Which goes against, well, who's Abba? He was just a nigga that came on the scene. Incredible. Yeah. I got that in Daniel. Yeah. This is Daniel chapter 10, verse 1. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belshazzar. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long. And he understood the thing, and he had understanding of the vision. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, nor did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. So that was a fast. Now, it didn't say whether he drank water, so he could have drunk water, but it doesn't say that. Right. Okay? But he didn't eat any food. He didn't drink any wine. All right? So he, he was like in a pure state. Oh, yeah. That's the one that uh, the, got that vision. Go ahead. And in the 4 and 20th day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, with, which is Hedekel, then I lifted up mine eyes and looked. And behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. I believe that's Yahweh Shah. That's Yahweh Shah. Yeah. So he was in a pure state. Mm -hmm. No wonder he fasted. Mm -hmm. fast. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. Polished brass is brown, brown, dark brown. brown. And the voice of his words, like the voice now, of fucking Vocab Malone. Well, that's yeah, just yeah, talking yeah. about hey, hey, on, the, semantics. No, no. If you said he's he describing a man, right? You know, yeah. brown skin man. Uh, brown skin man. He says his arms, yeah. color. Well, maybe maybe, maybe a certain the brothers man? are right. You know, the brothers. They draw, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The most muscular. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh look at the look at the look at the guns on it. You know. <laughs> Lee Haney. So so don't play that fucking game, vocab alone. Yeah. And I'm I was I was watching some of your videos. I noticed you always wearing a hat. But I noticed I went back maybe a couple years. You losing your fucking hair, bro. Mm -hmm. A lot of you got Nate. You you got that shit. That, you know, hair club for men. A lot of y'all motherfuckers got that. I can I can see it. Yeah. You know. That's tall. I got something to add. Plugs. Because as you was well, plugs. That's what they got. A lot of them guys got plugs. Yeah, as you were speaking, I, I thought of the song. There's a lyric from the song uh, Centerfield by John Fogarty, right? John Fogarty's the guy from uh, Creedence Clearwater mm. Revival, right? Now, let me see if I can get the lyrics. Uh, it says, uh, 
Okay. Uh, it says um, uh, the sun came out today. This is about uh, Jackie. Um, this the, the guy, who, uh, Jackie Robinson, the, the, baseball, the baseball player. Yeah. yeah, the baseball player. Right. It says uh, we're, uh, the sun came out today. We're born again. There's a new grass on the field. Around in third and headed for home. It's a brown-eyed, handsome man. Mm. Anyone can understand the way I feel. And he's talking about Jackie Robinson. And Jackie Robinson was the first to break into, you know, yep. Mount Esau playing baseball. Baseball, yeah. But the key word he used there is a brown-eyed, handsome man. So brown-eyed meaning what? Yeah. Gives you an idea of what yeah. kind of nationality he is. Right. So-called black man. Yep. So that's what Daniel saw, saw a so-called black man. Yeah, yeah. But, the, but he said a brown He saw a physical arm. Yeah. Yep. He mm -hmm. saw a man, not right. an animal. Yeah, and he said he was a color. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the voice of his words like the <laughs> voice of a multitude. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision. Mm. That's heavy. So they were men with him, but they didn't see the vision. Well, he was in a pure state. Yeah. The man it, it gave us a clue. He fasted for what? Tw uh, 21 days. Hey, how many times? Right, three weeks. Huh? We are... Uh, Saw the UFOs with the young brothers and they looking oh, yeah. at it. Yep. I remember it was like a year ago. And I would always see it, look up, I would see it. But there was one time where I couldn't see shit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm act, acting like I'm seeing shit. I didn't see a damn thing. I said, the hell are they looking at, you know? <laughs> and they're looking at, oh, look at that one. Yeah. Look at this. There's uh, 60 of them. Yeah. And I can't see nothing, man. Right. And then all of a sudden, boom. Yep. Yep. Right. Yeah. Your spiritual eye, your yeah, eyes yeah. open up and you can see it. Yeah, I, I, that right. happened to me too over uh, where we used to speak at. Yeah, man, because they'd be way up there. Yeah. You know? And they come in the form of orbs. Yep. Yep. Uh, well, uh, another scripture, Isaiah 31 and 5. As birds fly, so will the Lord defend okay. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Now, what is that talking about, Ron Dalton? Passing over. Yeah. Yep. As birds fly. And Jerusalem is the, the people, the elect, the people. Done. You know? Right. It says, um, but it says, for the men that, that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they f uh, fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned in, in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Yet heard I the voice of his words, and when I heard the voice of his words... That shows you how weak the flesh is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Corrupted meaning he got sick. Yeah, the yeah. His flesh is weak. Yeah, he probably thought he was gonna drop dead. Yeah. If he was an angel, he wouldn't. Have, his flesh wouldn't have been none of that. Yeah. Shows you the angels are on a much higher level than, than we are in this flesh. Well, when Yahweh Shai was fasting, he said after he battled Satan, yeah. the angels had to come and minister unto him. Yeah. Okay, you know. Yeah. Then was I in a deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground, and behold, an hand touched me. Which set me upon my knees and upon so the. So he actually fainted, man. Yeah. Mm. Mm. No wonder um, the heavenly Father told Moses, "You can't see my face and live." Yeah. If Moses is in the flesh. The heavenly Father said, "Look, I'll, I'll blind you as I, as I pass by. You'll just see my hinder part, meaning the, the back of his garment." Because the heavenly Father wears a garment. Okay. There's a, what was that? Isaiah, the train of his garment filled yeah. the temple. Isaiah six. Yeah, Isaiah, Isaiah six. six, the train of his garment filled. That's a big. That's a big garment, man. Well, Daniel 7, 9. His garment was white as snow. Wow. It says, And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And you know what? It shows you that he's actually seeing a man. He's describing a man. Excuse me. In Daniel 7, 9, right. he's describing the Most High sitting Come. on an absolute throne with woolly hair. Excuse me. So it's obviously a black man, Vocabulon. But then if you go to uh, Daniel 8, <coughs> he's talking about a he goat. Right? Uh, was it the he goat and, um, and the ram? The ram. And the ram. The ram. Mm -hmm. He actually saw a ram. He didn't right. see something that he didn't see. Uh, right. Yeah. The, the dining where? Oh no! <laughs> he saw an actual ram. Right. Yeah. So it was a vision of a ram. So yeah. what did the ram mean? Right. Right. So he had to break. The ram represents this. The goat represents Alexander the Greek. The horn in the middle of his head represents right. the leader. Then the and you got the four that came after him. Mm -hmm. So so when the prophets saw visions, sometimes they actually saw a man. Yeah, right. Look, right. when when John on the Isle of Patmos saw the Lord, the first vision that he saw was what? 
The Lord. Yeah. Right. He showed himself. I'm the Lord. Right. It's like saying, Daniel. Right. Daniel right. just saw it. Right. He showed himself. I'm the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the rest of the re revelation, he saw animals. Right. He saw arrows. He yep. saw this. Yeah. He saw that. And he just he described it as such. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. When he saw the woman, he actually saw a woman right. sitting yeah. on an actual beast. Very right. beautiful. Woman. Very beautiful woman, meaning her, she had the, you know, yep, take like yep, a thick yep. leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well the, breasted. You know, the, the, the thighs well, or the you know, side of fries. You know, thick, yeah. you know, from the head to toe. Oh, yeah. Thick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thick. You know, with the yeah. legs, you know. Right. Like, yep. the, the thighs with the side and of you fries. You know how you got yep. the legs? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toe yep. out there. Yeah, She's yep. probably moving all sexy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, she oh, probably, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, you know. Uh, he was getting uh, turned on. Yep, yep. Yeah. He was getting shit. turned on. Hey, well, the angel cursed him out. Yeah, because the woman meant something back then. Well, the the whole concept of America is like a woman. It's yeah. an alluring woman. Well, a and woman. John, is, got, a, John yeah. got aroused. He got right. aroused. Right, right. You want the papa come out and stuff. Let's make a joke. Well, you you aroused. Yeah. <laughs> he was aroused. He said, yeah. I, I looked at her and wondered yeah. with great admiration. admiration. Yeah. His yeah. manhood. He was like, manhood. Like, like if, yeah. you see, yeah. if you see a yeah. certain woman, man, like, you're thumb. walking down the street, yeah, right? You see the average woman, she look all right. And every woman that we look at, as long as in your hot pop, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all That's all we think for you women out there. That's all we think yeah. about. We judge yeah. you based upon, and guess what? Yeah. You women do the same thing. That's, that's it. it. When yeah. you see every man, you judge him. Yeah. So yeah. I get with him, yeah. you know, I ain't going to get with that nigga. He's yeah. fat. Yeah. You know, yeah. if he lost yeah. his weight, I get with the nigga. You know, yeah. all, you know? Yeah. 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 so when John saw Computer that woman, right. Like you yeah, see, see a bunch of women, then you see some fine ass women, yeah. like the way she walked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, then yeah, you gotta yeah. get aroused, man. You gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So you kind of look away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah, yeah. you look at them. Yep. Especially if it jiggles a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. jiggle. Look through that last week. <laughs> but that, but that's 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 America. That woman yeah. represented America. Yeah. America. Alluring, alluring. America's yeah. alluring yeah. until Tyson. you come over here. Right, right. And you you deal with the bullshit of America. Yeah. You see, yep. you see how bitter it is. The the nations that are drunk of the wine, therefore the nations are mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you deal with a woman at first, you 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 you're lusting after beauty. But then you find out what she's really all about. Yeah, she's yeah. really a low life. Yeah, right. she's That's still, what the song yeah. uh, Papillon is all about. Mm. You ever listen to the lyrics? Papillon, oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, Jack yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got to listen to the lyrics. Yeah, know? I got Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> there's one part in the lyrics where she said, uh, I'll just read 10 again. All right. That's when you realize all my lies. Mm. In other words, they got together. They were feeling in love with each other. Right, right, right. But right. she didn't say what the lies were, you know? Right. And she was reminiscing on this guy, how this guy is smitten her. Okay. You know? Hey, it's a bad hey, Chaka Khan video. Yeah, 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 You know? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's bad, man. She's, she's another one that's speaking, really speaking out against the small hatters in the form of the music industry. Yeah, and that's why you don't, you know, they ain't putting it out there like, like they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She ain't getting the, yep. You know, Jake, Jake gets put in their place, man. Jake mm -hmm. gets gets in a certain position. They stay up there, yep. and they're taken care of, man, for the rest of their life. The kids are taken care of. Until they go against, they, they bite, small they hats. bite the hand that feeds them, which is yep. the small hats. Oh, another small one. hats control every fucking thing. That's right. Anita when I say that, I mean most things. Yeah. Right. The, the top is like I said. I didn't know that the commissioner, the NBA, not he's not the owner of uh, the, uh, the the Nets. He's the commissioner of the NBA, the head motherfucker, <clears throat> who's a so-called small hat. And, and we're not surprised because H -A -I -C. look, the, 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 uh, going back to our forefather um, Isaac, what was the blessing at the behest of the heavenly Father? What was the blessing that Isaac gave Esau? The, the, the breath sword. of the earth, yeah. right? Yeah, the, by, by the use of the sword. By right. the use of the sword. So they own everything. This is their kingdom. Right. So we're not surprised. They're supposed to own everything. That's they why, own us. That's why the U.S. and Russia is at the stalemate. Now <laughs> you know the U.S. is down there in Haiti, right? Because the puppet government government called in the U.S. troops, but guess who else now is down there? Russia. Oh shit! I know that. Russia could bring in oil tankers down there. Oh, so shit. Russia, <laughs> Russia's taking the side of the, the Haitians that are out there in the street, the gang. All right. Mm, mm, check that so out. everywhere, everywhere <laughs> America goes, Russia's gonna be right there. Yeah. And you notice they haven't it's locked on yet. You know why? Because that's there's a term that's that's. Uh, the, ter the term is mutually assured destruction. Oh, God. Mm. Yep, 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 yep. That's the Lord. The, the Lord said yeah. he would raise up. Mad. 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 They call him yep. <laughs> The Lord said he would raise up the spirit of the Medes. Right. So that right. again is another example of the spirit of the Medes being raised up, right. which really represents Russia. It's a parabolic uh, term for Russia. And it says that a, 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 a 
uh, evil thought will enter into your mind. Yeah, we shall go into the land of the unwalled villages. villages yeah. What is that talking about? America. So eventually Putin's going to say... And Israel. But yeah, ultimately and, America. Yeah, so eventually Putin's going to say enough of the bullshit. Let's just take over America. Putin. And, and hey, we're all with it, man. <laughs> Putin, what, what's taking you so long? But another, you can't make that words, move. In other words, we're, we're with the prophecies. Yeah, yeah. Right. Not like we're with Russians and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're with yeah. the prophecies. No, we're with the prophecies. Yeah, yeah. yep. Whatever That's happens. It. Right. Like, the, like why, this is why we don't vote. Because the most high might want a man in there. You think he should be in there? The most high said, no, the other man's going to be in there. So it's right. not about us. The most high is going to put the right man in there yep. to be the president, to be the, 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 the prime minister of a particular right. country. To, to do what? All to do the fulfillment of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. take it down one, yeah. set it up another. Because the Lord said in the book of Ezekiel, he said, I shall be sanctified in thee, O God. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is going to use Russia eventually to shoot missiles on America. Right. That's one of, the, one of the main reasons why Russia must exist. Do you know that, uh, Don, uh, Ron, Ron Dalton? Dalton? Do you what know that America, Russia is going to use missiles to shoot on America? Hey, that's one of the main reasons why America, uh, uh, Russia must exist. Yeah. Because Russia must shoot missiles on America. Must. It's, it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. and, and if that don't happen, that would make the Heavenly Father lie. And Numbers 23 and 19 says it's impossible for the Heavenly Father to lie. Oh, another thing Ron Dalton teaches is that the sons of Jaffet <laughs> are the white men. That shit is old school. Oh, Jaffet. My, my parents used to believe, teach me that shit in the fucking seventies. <laughs> you know the white men are the sons of Jaffet? That's old school yeah. Hebrew Israelism, yeah. man. Yeah. The so-called white men are Edomites, man. Right. Yeah. And the scriptures don't really talk too much about Jaffa. They don't. They if you go look, if you go to uh, Google and you play in Jaffa, they don't say too much. Yeah. yeah. In uh, the book of Obadiah, Ron Dalton gives right. you clues. Ron Dalton. Exactly. We, give, we, we give you a break. This, this yeah. Week, yeah, yeah. Bishop Nate. We give on Ron Dalton. We're going to stay on Ron. Ron Dalton for a while. Bish. Bish. R.D. Yep. R.D. R.D. Ron Dalton. Dalton Jr. Obadiah, the book of Obadiah. But we ain't some... mad at you. You're an yeah. Israelite. Yeah. You know, you're an Israelite, but you just don't have the full truth. That's it. The book of Obadiah gives you clues of who the... And you're like uh, Bruce Bruce Lee. We're Bruce Lee and yeah. you're uh, James Franciscus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, there's a, vi there's yeah, a video. Yeah. I got to send it to you. I might show it to you. Come. Where Lee is teaching him. Come. And he's teaching with music. Right, he said, right. man, you got to move with the music, man. <laughs> and then Lee was like moving. And then yeah, they showed yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the guy, uh, yeah, Tame Francisco. He, yeah. no, he didn't know, yeah. baby. You got to move with the music. And yeah. then Lee, Lee started doing this shit. Then he started yeah. throwing the kick yeah. and shit, you know? <laughs> Wasn't he uh, a dancer or something? Or, cha -cha. Cha -cha. Cha -cha. cha 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 Which proves he was a Jake. Hell yeah. Yeah, Which, Lee was a fascinating guy, man. Yeah, and they had another video with Jim Kelly, and they were asking him, what do you think about Lee? Was he a real fighter? He said, man, that man was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. He said, I've seen guys. If I mention their names, top martial artists that he sparred, and he played with them. Mm -hmm. Then he said, he said, we, we, we can go hands and feet, or we can just go hands. He said, this guy was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You know? Special kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah, well, he was born what? He was born the year of the dragon. The year of the dragon. The hour of the dragon. I think oh, it was oh. between 6 that's and 8 right? yeah. a.m. in the morning. That's... So yeah, that's he's him. the dragon. Yeah. He was known as Little Dragon. I believe that's him, yeah. Go ahead. Dude. Okay. Um, Daniel's chapter chapter 10 and verse 11. It says, yeah. And he said, unto, he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the works that I speak unto thee. So guess what? We got to be greatly beloved by the Most High, right? right. Yeah. It says in the New Testament in Matthews, I haven't read this in years, it says how the Lord honoreth us. Mm. All right? The word honor is in there. So he loves us, man. Yeah. Why? Because we're doing we're doing the will of the Most High. That's right. And I was listening to uh, yeah. uh, Elder, uh, um, Elder uh, Malcolm, right? And he was going into like how he came into the truth. Mm -hmm. And he said that he was heavy in the martial arts. Mm -hmm. The MMA, he was training people, he was you know, going to fights and all that. And then he said when he heard this truth and his eyes were open, he dropped everything. He wow. said, Fuck, he, like, like Paul said, yeah, yeah, I yeah. count everything but, but dumb. dumb. He's a beautiful brother. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that brother, that brother, and that brother, that brother. I'm shocked. That, and that yeah. brother could come to New York anytime he wants. He don't gotta announce himself. Absolutely. You know? 
He's a humble brother. Yes, he is. Very humble. I wish I could say this to some, some of you other brothers out there. Mm -hmm. Some of you other brothers, I ain't saying don't feel bad, but that's a humble brother, man. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Uh, Daniel's ten and eleven, and he said unto me, "O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the word." Not just beloved, but greatly beloved. Yeah. We really love you. Hey, right. look, you don't know this, Daniel. <laughs> but yeah. Me and the angels and the Lord, we yeah. really love you, wow. man. Wow. You know. So guess what? They have to be saying the same thing about us. Yeah. Because what are we doing wrong? What 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 can we do to make ourselves better? Wear better garments. Right. And that's why a lot of people follow Nate because of them garments, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. They're not getting the truth. They, well, like, like the Lord said about the wicked Pharisees, he said they make beautiful the outside of the right. but within and, are full and, of ex de dead extortion. Man's, dead man's bones. Yeah, dead man's bones, yeah. Excess. Yeah, you can't tell me those guys are not living in excess. Yeah. Go ahead. And he said up to me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, Understand the words that I speak unto thee. And and that's the key word. Understand. That's understand. something that Ron yeah. Dalton Jr. does right. not. He does not understand the scriptures. Yeah. He even did a video on a couple of videos on the mark of the beast. So I said, let me listen to what he got to say. I played on the video. And he was talking <coughs> about another reason why we got to go to Ghana is because America is going to set up this cash system. But wait a minute. You don't you think that they over there they, it's going to be a regular it's a system? Worldwide. It's, it's a worldwide thing, bro. What are you talking about? It's worldwide. Yep. You, know, you got to do some more research. Man. You got to. You got to watch the videos, man. Variety, variety. You're not going to grow if you don't watch our videos. That's that's the topic. Mm -hmm. You're not going to grow if you don't watch our videos, and that's the, and that's the fact. Well, yeah, on the back of the dollar bill, Ron Dalton, there's a pyramid with the Latin words under it. Yeah. Novos Ordo Seclorum, New World Order. And you know what shows you that the people of Ghana or Nigeria. Or any place in Africa or the Arab world or the land of Moab, you, you know how you know how we know that they're under the so-called white man that he's a, he's the king over all of them because they all have a democratic system. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the fornication in Revelation uh, chapter 17. Yeah, yeah, with the, with the woman, with the yeah, the fine ass woman. Matter of fact, I bring out scripture. We got all kind of diseases. Um, yeah, I, I would bring the uh, try it try them upon the earth uh, try them that oh yeah uh, Re oh. Revela revelation oh. 3 verse 10 because yeah. we always bring it out that right. that the, the that's the hour of the hour of temptation it's going to be over the whole earth the hour of temptation is whether you're going to take that karagma or not so that's gone included Ron. Yep. so that's going to shake up a lot of, that's going to shake up israel when they actually push that thing and it could happen in within this next six six months mm -hmm. the next within the next year yep they're going to push it out there just like they pushed out the jump shot. Absolutely. And they try to get people to get it. They threaten you with not having a job. Yep. You can't buy no food. Yep. You can't go out. Yep. They have to. Because if they don't, then that would make the Heavenly Father lie. Yeah. And again, it's, a, it's look, it's not our program. The jump the shot heavenly. was just a test run. Test so right. they already know what percentage is going to uh, accept it. Right. And let's say it's 80%. They know that there's going to be 20% that's not going to accept it. That's what they're gonna focus on. Right. You know? They're pushing it that thing all over again. Now. They're pushing it all over again. There ain't nobody falling for that bullshit. Plus plus the jump shot too was uh they got the the, the uh, what do you call it, the depopulation program going on. Mm -hmm. Where uh, you had the uh the Georgia Guidestones maintain humanity under five hundred million. Right, right. Which they, they they demolished that. Yep. Yeah, they demolished because because too many people were getting too hip many to people it. were getting hip to right. it. Right. Wise to it. So right. Do they have a, a program of depopulation? Absolutely. Oh, Depop. The uh, the top wicked elite feel there's too many people on the planet, yeah. so they have something called the Cullen. Right. If if you, if you would look up the word Cullen, Cullen. Please. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. It's like it. Uh, because Revelation chapter three verse ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Wait a minute. The word of. of Who's this speaking? That's yeah, Yahweh Shai yep, speaking to in John, red. right? Yep. Those words are written in red. Yep. So the word of his patience, because remember, um, the Heavenly Father Yahweh put Yahweh Shai in charge. Because right. Yahweh Shai made a statement, said, all power is given unto me from the Father. Right. So now Yahweh Shai is in charge. Yeah. So he said, rightly so, he said the word of his patience, yeah. which he kept. Yeah. He kept the word of his, his patience. 
uh, mm -hmm. which was, you know, the, the scriptures. He never went off. Mm -hmm. So he's saying to John, because you kept the word of my patience, mm -hmm. which is like what we're doing, we're keeping yeah. the word. You're not applied to us. Yeah, yeah, we're keeping the word of. The uh, ones of you that haven't been doing, taking hiatuses and not, like I said, when YouTube came on the scene, you had a lot of guys come on the scene mm -hmm. doing videos, a lot of former one westerns from the 90s that was on fire for about maybe five, six, seven years. Mm -hmm. We out here is going on 15 years. Right. A lot of you guys, you might have put five, six, seven, eight years in, 10 years, but for the last five years, six years, seven years, you haven't been doing shit. You lost patience. Yeah. So guess what? Lost You're going to take the chip. You're going to yeah. take it. Yeah. Because the Most High is going to give you a spirit where, where um, I'm thinking of the precept. The Most High is going to give you a strong delu delusion that you may believe a lot. Second Thessalonians. And like when Johannes said, Johanna said, uh, go ahead and take it. And all this information is coming out with people that are dropping dead, people that are getting sick, women having abortions, cancer, them went, everything that went up, man. Yeah. Yeah, you guys fell out because you, at the end of the day, you lost what? You lost patience, right? So the Lord said, read that part again. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. There you go, go ahead. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Now, what is the hour of temptation? When Esau makes this thing mandatory, what thing? The, the electronic tag, which we call the chip, which is known as the MOTB, the, the, the mark of the beast, which is pursuant to Revelation uh, uh, 13 and 16. Esau is going to make that thing mandatory. And we got, there's plenty of clues. All right. One main clue, a super clue, is this guy, um, Aaron Russo, and the conversation he had with uh, Nick Rockefeller, yep. which he disclosed to Aaron, uh, Alex Jones. Aaron Russo, he said, uh, Nick Rockefeller told him, look, we want everyone C H I P P E D. We want everyone chipped. That's, that's what the bankers want. And that was before the, uh, the World Trade Center. Yep. <laughs> just told them that we're going to knock down the buildings and they're going to be looking for everybody to see here. They're going to be hunting somebody in mountains and all mm -hmm. that. <clears throat> told them all that. Yeah, and that came to pass, right? So eventually, <clears throat> that's what the bankers want. They want everyone, and that's pursuant to Revelation 13 and 16. So it's really not the bankers. It goes far beyond the bankers. It's really the Heavenly Father. Right. There's a video that I put up, and it's I think I put it up on, I couldn't put it up on YouTube, but I put out like an intro to it. It's dealing with this guy named George. It's either Gannon or Gammon. He's an Edomite, wears a suit and all that, and he goes into like banking and financial stuff. And he did a video, I don't know, a year and a half ago. It's still up a year and a half, two years ago. Where he broke down this, the banking Excuse system and, and what everything's going to lead to. He said everything's going to be done out of London. Mm, okay. There's only going to be one central bank and it's all going to come out of London. That makes sense, yeah. Well, and then the eventually he goes yeah. into a lot of the city -state. stuff. Mm. He said eventually they're going to do it, they're going to have the cash as the system. And, event, and, he said, and then he spoke about dogs and cats getting the chip. He said, well, that's what they're going to use on you. But, but what, what, it, what got me was this. He didn't say this is the fulfillment of revelation. Right. He didn't say this is biblical right. prophecy. He's not an evangelist. Right. He said it based on what he knows as a as a guy that's in the finance, right? And he said he didn't like I said, he didn't say it had nothing to do with the scriptures. He just said that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. But yeah. that's why they're trying to push that whole credit score system, you know, credit social credit score system on people. If you don't say or do the things that they want you to do. You know, you they get cut you that down. In the movie, uh, the Black Mirror. Yeah, the, yep, the, yep, the, yep. The plane episode. Yeah, yeah. Yep. The, the, the white, the pretty white girl and, and, the, and, the, and the nigga woman. Yep. What the fuck? You ever saw that? Yeah. No. Brother, you got to see it. Yeah, you yeah. see that nigga Netflix, woman? Yeah. That's the ultimate demonic nigga, nigga woman. I see that. You know? Yeah, episode, what is that? Season three, episode one, I Something think? Something like that. But if you put an airplane episode, right. the Black Mirror, mm -hmm. and you get mad, and then, oh, and then she loses. He, what was yeah, Edomites, they, they had to kiss ass and you know right, to right, get right. points. Well, Uber, that's what Uber's all oh, about. Okay, yeah. Uber, Uber is a is a, uh, a social system. Yeah. Right. Like if I don't like a guy, I said fuck you. Right. Or right, they can right. say to me, right. Hey, you have a nice day. Fuck you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know. And then yeah. that drops you down. You, you, my my score is a four to this day. I remember it's four mm -hmm. four point nine one, which is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And there's no way in hell you're gonna get a perfect five point zero. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way in hell yeah. you're gonna get it. 
Because you're going to have somebody that's, that's just not going to like you. Yeah, no matter what you do. You know, you could, oh, sorry about that. You know, yep. that's all right. Yeah. Fuck you anyway. I'm going to give yeah. you three. Yep. No? You just, and if you don't like certain balls, you just don't like, fuck you. I'm going to give you a fucking zero. <laughs> like that one dude. You're anti because you want to stick his luggage. Oh, yeah. Well, he, I didn't pick him up, so he couldn't. He couldn't oh, okay. Uh, he couldn't uh, rate you. He couldn't rate you. Okay, me, cool. Know? Yeah, he was a small hat. I told him. I'm looking at my car, I'm looking at the luggage, right. I'm looking at it, more luggage coming out, and I said, ain't no way I'm right. going to be able to fit luggage in the car, let alone the people. Right. So I told him, and the reason why I told him quick was because he was, come on, let's hurry up, let's hurry up. I said, man, I ain't taking this nigga nowhere. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but I couldn't anyway. Right, right. He had three little kids, toddlers, one was maybe three, the other one was maybe right. two. They could run around and shit, but, but, but you have to have right. child-proof. Yeah. Seat for them. Yeah. Car seat. You had to have three of them. Yeah. Right. There's no way you can put child proof seat nope. and the three little children and the luggage and your wife and you. And my, it's in humanly impossible. Right. So right. they're saying, let's try to see if it. Well, wait a minute. In that process, you can break my door handle. Right. I mean, I can get, I can sue you for it, get it back, but I got to go through that process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Process. Yeah. Yep. So I'm looking at the stuff. I said, I said, well, that. All these people are going, all this luggage here. I'm seeing luggage coming out. I said, sir, there's, there's no, it's humanly impossible to put. Well, you don't know. We can try it. Then his wife tried to do it, you know? Then he said, I know why. I know why you don't want to take me. Because you're an anti sep And I was, you know, I wanted to cut, but I had to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I had to continue. Refrain you know? yourself. I, yeah, I, yeah. Said, I said, wait a minute, yeah. sir. I said, I, I said, I deal with, with uh, I didn't say you are kind. Dude, I deal with your kind all the time. Right, right, right. They said, no, I deal with the, uh, the, the Jewish community. Yeah, the Jewish I right. said, I, I, I don't turn them down. Right. I'm just telling you what. That's bullshit. <laughs> You're anti sep <laughs> And then I said, I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for the children. He said, You're not sorry for the children. <laughs> You're anti. You can go, go, go. So he, said, I'm gonna, he said, I'm going to put some words in. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm going to put some words on you and watch what's going to happen. But you know what I did? I pulled over. I called him. I said, just to let you know, this guy, blah, 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 told the story. He said, thank you. So we know if he calls. But he never he never called. He never got back. But I but I covered my ass. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's you know? what they do. They play that card. Because it was easy. I said, number one, he didn't have child protective uh, child seats for three children, which were toddlers, number one. Right. Number two, he had eight pieces, pieces of luggage. And he had his wife and him. This, right. Uh, uh, him, you know, him and his wife. Now, if it was just him and a couple of pieces of luggage and the three kids put him in the back seat. You can seat. do that. No, most of the time you get it, you, yeah. you get jammed in, but people will fit in perfectly. It's right. jammed up. But there was no way I could have put it in there. Nah, that's yeah. too, too much. And if I was to put it in there, I would have had to put the back seat, two back seats down, and I would have had to lay the kids on top of the fucking luggage. Right. Yeah, now nah, fuck that. You know? That's, that's, I mean, I didn't want to take his ass anyway, because you tell him, right, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's, just, that's the so-called Jews for you. But this, the reason why they act that way, because this is their kingdom. This but for their, the most part, empire. all of them that picked, except for him, and I can kind of stand, he was anxious to get on a plane or whatever with his family, who was going to Brazil. But um, all of them, the rest nice. of them, man, yeah, right. and the rest of them motherfuckers, they're cool. They give you tips, they're nice, they ask you how you doing. Those are some of my, my best customers, you know? So you ask me, do you hate, are you anti? I said, no, I said, no, not at all. They're, yeah, my, they're my best passengers, yeah, the main, which is true. They're my best passengers. When I pick them up, I have no trouble with them. The main reason is because we're shemetic. First of all, but, it's but, not but hold up, they, 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 they play with that word. If you go right. into, the, into the origin of the word semitic, they know that they, they know the word supposed to be Shemitic. Right. Right. Yep, Shem. So when you look up the word Semitic, it says anybody that comes against the so-called. You know why they said that? Because that's their word. Right. 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 That's the Because code. they know the difference right. between Sem and Shem. Yeah. Right. Because when they read the name of the, of the Most High, they'll say Hashem. Right. Yeah. So how so come you can't say? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a made-up word. So it's yeah. a term they made so that they, they can throw out there and gain once again gain sympathy. That's what the whole thing Which was. Which proves that they're not the people. Yeah. Because yep. that's not a word. That word yep. doesn't exist. Yep. That's the thing with the with the Hitler and all that. That was to gain sympathy. I mean, we could go into that, but they'll probably... And then they'll bring it. up Hitler. Yeah. Well, look what Hitler... First of all, Hitler was a, a small was, hat. Yeah, it was a small hat. Hitler was an Austrian Jew. Mm. All right? You don't want to talk about that. Nope. 
He was a sign of Hitler's a, grand, grandmother yep. on his father's side, Helios, yep. a Schickel Gruber, Schickel Gruber. Gruber. Yep. All right? Yep. Schickel Gruber. And I believe his father, his grandfather was uh, Solomon Sol Rothschild. Solomon Rothschild, one of the Rothschilds, yeah. which, is, which is small hats. Mm. So guess what? Hitler, if he kept that name, that line, mm -hmm. he would, they, they, his name would be Adolf Rothschild. Yeah, I was, uh, something I was reading about, and, uh, it said, uh, it said uh, Solomon Rothschild had a, they used the word lecherous. He had a lecherous passion for little girls. Mm. And Anna Schuckelgruber was a, was a, a little a servant. At the, uh, I don't know how old she was right. when, he, when he popped her, you know, um, Solomon Rothschild. But um, <coughs> it said that he had a lecherous passion for little girls. And I think I looked up the word lecherous. I think you could look, look it up. up now. Yeah, look lecherous. It up. Look it up. How do you, how you spell it? Lecherous. Um, L E C H E. L E C H E R O U S. Ara. 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 Yeah. <laughs> H E R O U S. Okay. Ara. Okay. Right. Yep. That's uh, it. Lecherous. Yep. It says having or showing excessive or offensive sexual desire. That's what the, the, the article, lecherous, right? That's what the article said about Solomon Rothschild. He had a lecherous passion for little girls. Now, Anna Schuckelgruber, she was a servant. Which technically, there's nothing wrong with that, yeah, yeah. biblically. I don't know how how young... Well, uh, if she was working, it couldn't be... Yeah, she was she a servant. Was a young, she had to be 12, she was 13 a young, years yeah, old. Right. She's a young so of, of working age. So technically, he really didn't do anything right, wrong. Right, right. Yeah. Biblically. Biblically. Speaking. Yep, and... Um, are, do you, are you aware of that Ronald Dalton? <laughs> These are the guys that go around raping little girls. Yeah. Graping little girls. Yep. Um, Great yeah, so, uh, so uh, she, uh, she got pregnant, and I think uh, Solomon Rothschild banned her out from the, from the house. You know, pretty much threw her out. And uh, she brought forth Hitler's father, Alois. El Alois. El Alois. Yeah, Alois. Shikha Alois. Alois. Shikha Shikha After her the... name, which his name should have been uh, Alois Rothschild. Yeah, Shikha Hitler should have been um, Adolf Rothschild. Yeah. So tell the whole story, man. Mm, so deep. Rothschild was a was a was a uh, an Austrian Jew, mm -hmm. you know. But the truth is going to come out any damn way. Right. And I see why, if you if you put in uh, the international Jew. Or like if you go to YouTube, you can put in uh, Catcher in the Rye. You can probably hear that whole story, probably three three hours long. You listen to that whole chapter one, chapter two. Right, more chapter put three. more dick in. Chapter one, chapter two. Captain Ahab, blah, blah, blah. Put in the international Jew, you ain't going to. But, but we got the uh, the video, the eight minute yeah. video, yeah. where the person, the, the woman is reading the, the, the uh, chapters. chapters. Yeah. And that shit is damning in itself. <laughs> You know? Just the chapters. All right, Revelation 3 and 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So what's the hour of temptation? There's going to be a particular hour right. mm -hmm. that you're going to be tempted. Yeah. Right? Right. Do me a favor. Look up the word tempted. See what the Greek word goes to. You got it? Oh, no. I get it. That's Revelation 3 10, right? Yeah. And hey, you know who's kind of fucking up... Uh, Ron Dalton, uh, Vocab uh, Malone. Mm. He's out of Yo, Vocab was kind of going in. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. you know, he got that from. He got that from us. Of course. Yeah, of course. Know? He's a biter. See? That's the Hebrew. If you go in Greek. Oh, come on, Vocab, man. Vocab, come on. Oh, Volca, come on. Oh, if you go in Greek. Oh, man. Vocab, we gave you and balls. That's not even a source. With the, with the, with the, with the wind in his wings. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Yeah, right. The, like that the Greek but his word. wings are about to be clipped because he's, he's a dirty bird. You're a dirty bird. Yeah, yeah. So his wings are going to be clipped. Yeah. So your wings chip. are going to be clipped. Yeah. He's a vulture. Yeah. yeah. A buzzard. Vultures, buzzard. And, buzzard. Vultures and eagles. Buzzy. It looks like a buzzard. Buzzy Go buzz. Uh, pa paraismos. <laughs> it says um, an experiment, attempt, trial, proving. Trial proving the trial made of you by my bodily condition since condition serves as a test the love of the galatians towards paul uh the trial of man's fidelity integrity virtue oh, the trial of man's fidelity faithfulness right right to right. see if you're faithful Woo. so in order for you to be the faithful and not to take the 
the, 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 the C hit, you got to know it first. Right. So the question is, why doesn't Bishop Nathaniel, the greatest Hebrew Israelite that ever lived, right. you know? Right. He, he's the greatest thing since uh, unleavened bread. Right. You know, why doesn't he know that? Why doesn't he know that? Why doesn't he consider it? Why doesn't Yohanna or the ISUBK know that? Do they know it and are trained to, to deceive people? You think so? Because common sense will tell you, you will get it. Yeah, we think they were set up. We think they took the bag. Well, we'll find out. We're going to find out who's real and who's not real. Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, an enticement to sin, temptation, whether arising from the desires or from the outward circumstances. Wait a minute. An enticement to sin. So does the Heavenly Father create enticements to sin? Absolutely. The Heavenly Father creates stumbling blocks. So if you want to look at that uh, chip as a major stumbling block, that's exactly what it is. It's a stumbling block. And many of our people are going to stumble at that block. <laughs> They're going to tell, I already see it. If yeah. if uh, Bishop Nate, I already know what Johanna is going to do. He's going to push it. No big deal. They're going to take it. They're going to line up and take it. But if Bishop Nate, if he goes ahead and says, tells him to take it, or he's he, he doesn't say, ah, oh, that's up to you, we know he didn't sold out, man. It says, uh, of the temptation by which the devil sought to divert Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, from well, so his... Far, if I, I'm sorry, I, I was just in mid-thought. So far, he hasn't apologized for that, uh, for that juicy juice. He hasn't apologized because 22 people in his congregation, they, they died from taking that juicy juice. So you would think he would apologize because he said you could take that juicy juice. But yeah, then, how, how many people do you know died in the C-19? People get it, it's like a cold or a flu. You get it and you get get better. Yeah. Your immune system. According is to Esau's, you know, it's, it's vector bone, you know, it's, it's airborne. Everybody should get it. Everybody at one way or another got it. You have Fauci say there was one this was on <coughs> uh, uh, Gary Knowles show. He, he had an actual interview. There was an interview done with uh, Fauci and they said there was a woman that got it, she was diagnosed with it, she didn't take the shot. But she's okay. She's good. Should she go ahead and take it? He said, no, no. Her, her immune system. Her immune system. She don't have to take the shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he got it, what, two times? Oh, this guy, uh, Stephen A. Smith, that Uncle Tom, he got it again. The ones that get it are the ones that got the shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it, it, it weakens your immune system. And the Heavenly Father, when He created our bodies, He created it with an immune system, the ability, right. to, the ability to heal itself, right, right they, off the season. Right. What they're finding out is uh, these dead bodies, when they do the autopsy, they're finding this unknown substance that's almost like worms, but they're like rubbery. They, they're strong. <laughs> they find it all throughout your, you know, your heart, your clots, you know. clots. It says, of the temptation by which the devil sought to divert Yahweh the Messiah from his divine errand. So that's the thing that, that, that they, that, that's going to happen to us. We're going to be tested. Now give, give me uh, Revelation uh, 20 verse 4. Yeah, come. I was just thinking of that scripture too. So some of us are going to be thrown in, in, in uh, camps. Some of us are going to be put okay. to death. Yeah, test of faith. The Lord's going to do that to see just how much we believe in him. Hey, there's a scripture where it says in uh, Ecclesiasticus, I think it's the second chapter, uh, believe in him, cleave, uh, uh, how's it go, depart not away, cleave unto him. And, and, and matter of fact, you know what, let me get it. Yes. Okay, Revelation 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Mosai Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. Yep, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, starting at the fourth verse. Ecclesiasticus 2 and 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold, so if we be gold, right? 
it says, for gold is tried in the fire. So that's going to be that real fire when, when, when the Heavenly Father puts the Spirit on Esau to make this thing mandatory. That's some real, that's going to be the days of fire, real fire. The but days it says, of fire. Yeah, the days of fire. But it says, for gold, if we be gold, right? For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So when Esau makes this thing mandatory, that's an example of what? The furnace of adversity. Con, I got right? one. Yep. This is our first Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Yeah, so when they make this thing mandatory, that's a fiery trial. Right. Okay. Now, here, here's the point. It says, believe in him mm. and he will help thee. Because at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father said not to take it. Right. That's the point. No matter what. Now, what did the Apostle Paul said? Though an a angel or how does he say it in Galatians? Right. Uh, uh, right. Though me or an angel. Or yeah. Spirit, teach any other so gospel. Fact, get it. Get yeah. it. Because the other gospel is just not coming through. Galatians. So that's the mentality. When somebody we hold uh, Revelation 14. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back to Ecclesiastes 2 and six again so these are comforting words to you brothers and you few sisters that watch these videos it says believe in him and he will help thee order thy way aright how do you order your way aright by following this knowledge this truth and trust in him all right you, you got it you got galatians? Yep. yep galatians uh chapter one starting at six it says i marvel that ye are so, so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of yahweh shai unto another gospel which is not another but there be some some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of yahweh shai yeah, pervert the simple meaning for pervert is to change change up mm -hmm. so it says which is not another meaning the same bible mm -hmm. you got different he hebrew isn't like groups but the same bible mm -hmm. right. but they're Perver teaching different things yeah perversion they're perversion yeah. Look, at the end of the day, IUIC is a perversion of this knowledge. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, start, that, yeah, that is. Yeah. You can start with the men with the long hair. Yeah. With we'll the did a name. video on yeah. that. Yeah. The long Just, hair. I was watching the, the, the scene of the movie, like a 10 minute scene of uh, the movie Troy. Troy yeah. And they said, I noticed the guys had the long braids. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So then I went into the Bible commentary and it said that Homer spoke about that because that was the play that Homer wrote. Okay. That never happened. Mm. Right. Like there was no such guy as the kids. That was a made up story. Mm. But the Greek men, which were Jake's, they had that that was the style. The yeah. long, that's what that's why Jake got that shit, the cornrows, the long cornrows. Mm. Because that they were back there as Greeks. Yeah. Showing you that the the, the, the power of the Greeks was black people, man. Yeah. yeah. The, the uh, Zeus, the different uh uh uh, what do you call, what do you call it? Uh, Hercules. Mythologies, yeah, right. whatever you call it. Oh yeah, those are all written by Jake. Homer was one of them. He was one of the seven sages. Mm. He, he had a big nose too. Mm -hmm. You know, he was a Jake, big head Jake with a big nose, mm -hmm. and he wrote that story. Yeah, Plato, Socrates. Plato, Socrates. <clears throat> so you, so like you have super superhero DC and uh, what's the other one? DC. Uh, Marvel. Marvel. Right. Well, you had the same thing back then. You had people that were Hercules. Was it was the Superman at that time? Her, yeah. Hercules never existed. Right. There was an actual guy named Her, Hercules who was born from the gods that had the purpose power. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Galatians chapter one, verse seven. It's, uh, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Yahweh Shot. Yeah, like saying, yep. like it. Go ahead. Like saying, oh yeah, no, dude, we gotta, we gotta keep the laws. You gotta keep the laws. You gotta keep the laws. But they ain't keeping it. But you, but you ain't keeping it. That's what that was the point that Yahweh Shah was making. Going the, back to the long hair, these guys in IUIC got super long hair, braids, and all that. And the script they had the one guy named Samson, IUIC somewhere in Midwest or whatever, and he was cursing out this one chick because he had a hat on. He said, "Why don't you take your hat off?" And he quoted from uh, the Apostle Paul, First Corinthians 11. But in that same chapter, it says it's a shame for a man to have long hair. Mm. So that's. You know what that's called? It's called hypocrisy. That's it. That's it. Yeah, now uh, yeah. let's start with the name, the name of the Father and the Son. That's total perversion, saying that we don't have the name of the Father and the Son. Right, yeah. And when the Most High to... gave, you know, the guy that said, uh, uh, Bishop Nate is the greatest prophet on the planet Earth. He's the only prophet, but but he doesn't know the name of the Most High. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and, then, the most, and the most I said he would do nothing, but he would reveal his secrets yeah. unto his servants. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you yeah, got false up. prophets. That's yeah, no, no, no. Going about to make yeah. fun of the name. Yeah, that's crazy. Make fun of the name of the. There's videos of, of uh, him making fun of the name of the father and the son. That's crazy. So that's a perversion. Is that not an example of perversion? Yeah, absolutely. So read that part again. Okay, it says, I marvel that ye are soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Yahweh Shai unto another gospel which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Yahweh Shah. Yeah, saying we don't have the Hebrew. How the hell can we be Hebrew Israelites and not have the Hebrew? Right, right. And plus in Isaiah 19, it speaks about how in, the la in that land of Egypt, which is America, they shall speak the language of Canaan. Mm -hmm. What is the language of Canaan? Right. The ancient Hebrew. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah 19. So how you get around that? The fulfillment of America. <laughs> Mm -hmm. but Isaiah conversion. 19 is being fulfilled right now. Right now. Because America is what? America is a, a, an altar. Yeah, it's an altar. So Most High going to pull back the priests, which are the prophets, and then he's going to sacrifice the altar. Yeah. He's going to sacrifice the animals. That's why Isaiah 34, one of my favorite chapters, because yep. it's so poetic, it, it talks about Esau and these wicked nations as yep. being bullocks and yep. all that. In other words, goats. lambs and goats. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you get around that? So so what is he what is he doing? He's perverting the gospel. Right. Perversion of the gospel. Go ahead. But but though we or an angel from heaven is the point. Yep. Preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you. Right. Let let so him So if an angel came down talking about an angel uh, angel Gabriel or right. 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 And he the mice can't make it. You gotta you gotta go against that angel. Yeah, say, look, right. I rebuke you in the name of Yahweh by the small shot. That's, that's right. right. Because what did Mike, Michael do in Jude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Satan went to grab the body of Moses, mm. he said the Lord. And, and, uh, he said he didn't. He didn't hold up a sword. Yep. You know, right. or railing ac accusation. Yep. He just said the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yeah, that's that's powerful. And, and Satan had to get that, back. Yeah, that's that, powerful, man. That's, that's powerful. powerful. That's how powerful that name is. Yeah. Yep. And that name is all knees it is written that all knees shall bow. Well, he, that that's name. the key. Yeah. The name is the key. Now, yeah. Yahweh Shai said about the wicked Pharisees, they take if they take away the key mm. from mm. from uh, uh, you know, <laughs> right? They take away the key you know, oh, from entering into the kingdom. Uh -huh. Give me the keys. Oh yeah, yeah give yeah. me the keys. Yeah. yeah. You mean from entering into the kingdom of heaven? Yeah. Yeah. From, yeah. yeah they, they stop. And then they yeah. hinder. Yeah. They take away the key, which is yeah. the name, right? Yeah. The name of the Father and yep. Son. Yep. Then they hinder you from from going in there, right. and uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, we have the keys. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the name? We have the keys. Yeah. The name is one key. Yeah. The, the Revelation 18 is another key. Yeah. Uh, Isaiah 34 is another. Genesis 1 is another key. Yeah. yeah. So we have a bunch of keys. Yeah. Like in the, in the Matrix series, yeah. we had the more by, by, by do it. He had all the those key, keys. Key, yeah. keep well, the keys, key right? The, the key, key master. master. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are the key master. Yeah. Most yeah. I gave us a key. Yeah. Yeah. But what? Yeah. This door, how we open that door? Okay. Yeah. We need yeah. this key. Yeah. You start you know? with the names. Yeah. You start with the name. Yeah. Hey, when Yahweh Shai taught his disciples, he said, when he prayed to his father in John 17, pass around my view on you can you can get it. John 17, when Yahweh Shai prayed to the father Yahweh, he said, "I have, uh, the, around the sixth verse, John 17 and six. Oh, yeah. He said, "I have manifested thy name yep. that to the men that thou gavest me." Let's read it. So you can't be teaching that the name of the Lord is not important and his, the name of his son is not Especially important. Especially when you taught on, the name man. of the Lord was Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yeah, and then of of all names that you pick. <coughs> It would have been better, right? It would have been better if you would have said to the unknown God. Right. But of all names that you picked, you, you pick what? G uh, Christ and the Most High God? Come on, man. Go ahead, brother. Uh, St. John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Now, you know what they're going to say? The name is the law, the law, the statutes, the commandments. Again, that's perversion. No, he has no, a... Because, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's what they teach. What, look, the law tells you about calling on any other name. Right. Uh, was it Exodus, 20, Exodus 23 three. and 13? Yeah. And what it means by call, we can say Allah and um, what's the East Indian God? Uh, Harry, Kali. Kali and, yeah. these, we can say all the names, but that word call, when you right. look it up, the word means to to magnify his name, right. you know, like honor his name. Like That's the reverence, it yeah. You reverence. can say God and Jesus Christ and Allah. Right. And Buddha, you can say that all right. you want. But if you're saying, oh, if you're praying to Buddha, 
then guess what? The most high is a jealous power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, then the Our Father prayer, hallowed be thy name. Yahweh Shai taught us, right. when he taught us to pray, the Our Father prayer, right. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. What does hallowed mean? Is that talking about the law, statutes, and commandments? Right. When Yahweh Shai said, hallowed be thy name, is he referring to the law, statutes, and commandments? Or is he referring to the Father's actual name? Even even Kyrie said, he, the way he got into that video, his story, when they, when they were interviewing him, after that game they lost to Indiana. He said, well, my name is Kyrie. I looked at the word Kyrie. The word Kyrie goes into the word Yahweh, which he was wrong in that. The word Kyrie is the Greek way, Kairos, which means, you know, the best way to describe it in Hebrew would be Adawan. Right, Lord. Which means Lord. Lord You're yeah. Lord. You're over everybody else. Hmm. Doesn't mean God. God. Then he said, when I looked up that word, it led me yeah. to the word Yahweh, which he, you know, then it led, led him to that move. That, that move. I got a quick precept. Uh, Isaiah 48 and 11. For mine own sake, even for mine own sake, will I do it. For how should I give, how should my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. That's why we got the name. Right. That's the <clears> blessing <throat> in, in itself that the Most High gave us his truth and gave us the name of the Father and the Son. Yep. And even, even scholars know that the name, they call it the Tetragrammaton, mm -hmm. and they said there's no vowels. Well, wait a minute, you can't form, you can't say any word if you don't have vowels. Man. Right. You know? Yeah, the Hebrew language is a spoken language. It wasn't, you know, And you uh, need vowels language. to speak. <clears throat> right. I got a quick scripture, Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. It says, a good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. And what proves that when uh, uh, Abiel said, wait a minute, you got you to put some respect on his name. But yeah. wait a minute, yeah, why don't you put respect on the Most High's name? Right, exactly. Uh, well, we don't know that, we really don't know the name. Well, how do you know you have the truth? Right. <clears throat> how do you know you, 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 you have the truth? How do you know that you're not going off? Yeah, the, the guy who called, uh, <clears throat> well, he didn't call. The guy who uh, left that comment to uh, Corey Holcomb with the $50, he said, he specifically mentioned in the comment, Bishop Nathaniel, meaning his name. He's the most powerful man on the planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, that guy, and he almost dropped dead two times. He, he came out, he came, he almost dropped, he said I was in a dark place. And then when you came out of that dark place, what did you say at the Passover? You praise the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Cannot, cannot, Bishop Kenai said it first. He opened up the, the prayer with Yahweh. And he stumbled on why you 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 how shot because you hadn't said it in a long time. Right, right. I can say it. I don't got to stutter. You how why you how shot. You how about shot. That's right. Right. If you ain't said it in a long time, you're gonna stutter. And then and then and then Bishop Nate said it. He said you how and why you how shot. He said those guys get boost, boost, goosebumps when I say that. Who do you think he was talking about? He was talking about us. So he was being proud. He We're his conscious, man. Yeah. You get mad at us. Like uh, this guy, uh, ASAP, get mad. Keep the bishop name out of your mouth. Well, where his conscience, man? That's right. Bro. Because when he was in that dark place, trust me, he, was he wasn't that, calling right. on no fucking Jesus. Right. And motherfucking <clears throat> Jesus. That's right. Fuck, Fuck Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Motherfucking Fuck Mother right. Fuck F, F Jesus. F, F, Jesus. F that hoe. <laughs> There's so much respect for the bishop's name, but you don't got respect for the Most High's name? No, they don't. You know? No, they make fun of it. They, Yo play yoga. It, that's crazy. Said you can call him Yo play yoga. Yeah. He, he still hasn't addressed that. Well, he said, he said, well, you know, that, that, I don't forget how he tried to clean it up. He said some great bullshit. <clears throat> yeah, but, he's, he's the cleanup guy. Yeah. He's the cleanup man. Go ahead. That was just, that was just <laughs> that disrespect. Song. Yeah, that's disrespect. That was just disrespect. Go ahead. Bro. Yeah. Um, this is uh, uh, Proverbs 18, verse 10. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Mm -hmm. The righteous runneth into, into it, it and is <laughs> safe. Right. Yeah, how's that talking about the law, statutes, and commandments? Mm -hmm. now, the, now, part of the name <clears throat> is the law, the law, statutes, and commandments. But well, wait a minute, nope. the scriptures say the apostle Paul, <clears throat> one of the great uh, apostles, great man of the Lord, he said, What did he say in Colossians? He said, don't let no man judge you in meats and drinks in respect, uh, respect of a high holy day, mm -hmm. right. which is a shallow thing to come. That's right. So you're not supposed to shove the, the, the Lord down people's throat. Right. You're not supposed to. What did Peter 
what did Peter say? It was either Peter or James. Mm -hmm. You go to uh, yeah, yeah. Act 15. Right, 15 yeah. Start from the top. Yeah, this is good to where it says. You know, we're not going to shove the Lord down your throat. Right. right. When you come right. into this truth right. and you grow into this truth, there might be guys that are learning that, that's not ready to grow a beard yet because of their job. Then there's a point where they say, you know what, I'm going to grow my fucking beard. Right. And if the boss don't like it, I'm quitting. Right. All right? Yeah, I remember yeah. I had to work for UPS. And um, but damn, that was before I came here too. Mm. But it, but I tried to go to UPS again, and I had the beard. And they said, you got to shave. I said, bye. Mm. Goodbye. Yeah. Con. <clears throat> Acts 15 and 1. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Circumcision is the law, right? The law, yep. yeah. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, yeah, there was a lot of arguing back and forth. Go ahead. They determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of the men, I'm sorry, yeah. uh, other, other of them, should go up to Jerusalem up unto the apostles and elders about this question. Now scholars call that what? They call it the, the, the what do they call it? The, Jerusalem uh, Council. Jerusalem Council. Jerusalem Council. What council do we call the one with Nate kicking us out of school? Cornelius. Cornelius, Cornelius council. council. So that's yeah. going to be in the book of Acts. Yeah. Yeah. You know? The the Acts, Cornelius, yeah. the Acts of yeah. the Cornelius Council. What yeah. happened at the Cornelius Council? <laughs> yeah. And ultimately what happened? Nate had to say we were we, we, they, he was we were the day he was wrong and we were right. Yeah. Right. So how do you know you're not wrong with anything else? When have we ever been wrong, Bishop Nathaniel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all praises to Yahweh Shah. Right. 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 It says, and being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phenice and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles. Israelite foreigners, and they caused great oh, joy. <laughs> and they caused great joy unto all the brethren. Mm -hmm. And when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and elders, and they declared all things that the Most High had done with them. Mm -hmm. But there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees which believed, mm -hmm. saying uh, that it. Dear. I got oh. a little nervous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's true. Cool. It says that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. It says, and the apostles and elders came together for to consider of this matter. Mm -hmm. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up mm -hmm. and said unto them, Men and brethren, know ye how that a good while ago the Most High made choice among us that the Gentiles, Israelite foreigners, by my mouth, should hear the word of the gospel and believe. Yeah, he's talking about Cornelius. <coughs> he's talking about when uh, he went to Cornelius. Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah, just like... Yeah, I'm walking to it. You know? I want to listen to the word. And Moses, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry. Did, what, did I say Moses? Yeah, he said yeah, Moses. He said Moses. Yeah. Lord. <laughs> and the Most High, yeah. which knoweth the hearts, bear the shalaki. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bear them ahead. witness, giving them the Holy Spirit, even as he did unto us. So there's no way the Heavenly Father is going to give the Holy Spirit to another nation. Right. The Holy Spirit is only for the nation of Israel. Yeah. Point our, blank end of story. Our inheritance. That's our yeah, inheritance. That's our inheritance. Forever. Yeah. The Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, you understand about Yahweh Shai. How the hell the Heavenly Father going to give the Holy Spirit to the Edomites when they have nothing in Yahweh Yahweh has nothing in them. One coming down the hill. Hmm? One coming down the hill. There's another one? Yeah, coming yeah, down the hill. It's through. Right there, right there. Yeah, they, they, blend, they blend in right with the scenery. Yeah. yeah. And, and they haven't moved yet. Yeah, just keep looking. Keep yeah, looking. Look listen away and look back at, at us. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Put now, no difference between us and them. Why? Because they were all Israelites. Right. Now, wait a minute. There's a scripture in uh, Exodus where the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians yeah, and, and Israel. the Israelites. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference Ooh, between, yeah, right? The heathen. Yeah, yeah so it's a, there's a difference between the Israelites and the heathen. Yeah. Wait a minute. In the, in the parable, right? The parable of the rich man. 
the, the, there's the part where it says the Lord, uh, there's a gulf fix right. yeah. between us and you. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Meaning, what what does the word gulf mean? Separation. Like a gap. Yeah. Yeah, like a gap. Yeah. There's another word. Right. I think the word there is a chasm. Mm. And when you look it up, chasm means a hole. Mm. What does a hole do? It separates you. Right. From you know yeah, the other side, the first, yeah. there was actually listening. That dead yeah. sees the spirit, right? Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. Kind of. Isn't the dead dove sees the spirit? No. Mm. Hey, same thing with Balaam. Balaam put a difference between um, Israel, Israel, and and the, the heathen, and, and the heathen. Balak and his people. Yeah. And you know, he said, and then he he singled out Amalek, right? And Esau, and the other nations, but. There was a scope on Amalek. Why? But wait a you minute. In, in Deuteronomy 32, the Lord put a difference. Deuteronomy 32. Right. Uh, if you if you want to get that real quick, yeah. Deuteronomy 32 and uh, what is that? Seven. So you you wacky tacky Christians, you got to understand. There's a difference between the Israelites and the other nations. That uh, hasn't changed, for God. Mm -hmm. and, and it ain't never gonna change. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse seven. Rem ahead. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. I'll go to the next verse. All right, verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations. When the Most High divided to the nations. Now, you just read where Peter said he put no, no difference, difference between <laughs> us and them. Meaning what? They had to be Israelites. They were Israelites. And they received the Holy Spirit just like Peter and the rest of the disciples received the Holy Spirit. Minus Judas Iscariot, of course, because he betrayed the Go ahead. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. Separated. Go ahead. When he separated the sons of Adam. Go ahead. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Go ahead. For the Lord's portion is his people. Who are his people, the Israelites. Yep. Go ahead. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Right, the seed of Jacob. The Israelites are also known as the seed of Jacob. Mm -hmm. Now there's a term for it, uh, it's called uh, Yazari Allah, which means the seed of the power, the seed of Jacob, because Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Now Esau don't come out of Jacob. Esau comes out of Isaac, and the chosen line don't just stop with Abraham or Isaac. It, it's got to go Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the seed of Jacob. That's the chosen. That's the people the Lord is dealing with. There's uh, a scripture where it says, "Praise ye all ye seed of Jacob." I forgot which citation it is. All ye seed of Jacob. Ah, uh, that, that might be. That might be a psalm. Yeah, if you type in "all ye seed of Jacob." Okay. Ye seed of Jacob, it should come up. Okay. Yep. What you I'm got? Keep, uh, yeah, I keep reading what I got. It says, verse 10, Acts 15 and 10. Now, therefore, why tempt ye the most high to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? So that goes That's back what to I what, yeah, yeah. Yep. That goes back to what the Apostle so was you, saying. You, you, and you know, and you know where, you know where Richard Nick got that from? Uh, these guys from Boston. Oh, Remember they were teaching oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you. You got to keep the Lord. You got to keep yeah, the Lord. Yeah, keep yeah. the Lord. That's where you got it. So I just run. Rum. Okay, yeah, right. Uh, I got the priest up here. Um, and then yeah. Bishop Nate the wanted to yeah. call them guys uh, 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 a Chinese water rat. Where do you think he got that? Come on. Yeah, he. Yeah, man. I couldn't believe when he said that. <laughs> Dude, you bite, man. You, you. Biter. A biter. Biter. Biter to the tenth power. Go ahead. Bro. Psalms twenty-two. Oh, he verse calls us. Uh, he calls the. Uh, uh, theological seminaries. Oh, he got that from you. Cemeteries. He got that from you. Yeah, he did say that. So he ain't lying when he said, I watch everything. I watch everything. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Uh, Psalms 22, verse 23. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him, all ye the seed of Jacob. Ooh! All ye the seed of Jacob. 22, now, how you get every nation in there? It's a rye, which means the, the sperm of Jacob. The, the sperm line of line. Jacob. The line of Jacob. Okay, yeah. if you constantly trying to uh, uh, sneak in a Gentile, if you can get one Gentile in there, that means you can get all Gentiles in there. Absolutely. Any Gentile that's a part of this thing are Israelites. Right. right. That's it. And Israel goes back to Jacob. Jacob wrestled the angel, mm -hmm. and he got the name Israel. No, he's going to do all that throughout the whole Old Te Testament into the New Testament. And all of a sudden, he's going to switch it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What that's about the prophecy? That's some bitch move. Yeah. yeah. The seed of Jacob, the man. The is not fickle. Right. right. He yeah. doesn't change. That's right. Home the seed boy. of Jacob and the chosen line, that's what they don't talk about. The chosen line is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's they it. don't just stop with Abraham. <clears throat> right. 
the, the Apostle Paul goes in that. Abraham had yeah. many seeds, right. seeds mm -hmm. of many. He goes into that. Not because they were seed, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but the, the children are called by the promise. For in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Yeah. Does it stop with Isaac? No, nope. you got to go one more. Mm -hmm. You got to yeah. go to Jacob. And he Isaac went to Jacob and Esau. That's right. That's it. That dear man, that dear been watching him for the last mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're gone. He just fixed it. That's a big dip. The other one's like up on the hill right there. That's probably the woman. Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, ye that fear the Lord, praise him, all ye the seed of Jacob. All ye the seed of Jacob. You can't get every nation in there. Man. That's right. It's impossible. Glorify him and fear him. In order, in order to glorify him and fear him, you, you must know his name. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Yeah, man. these dudes, man. Yeah, how you gonna, wait a minute. How you gonna yeah, glorify him and fear him me. and you don't know his name? Okay. Yep, so, yeah, read that again. Yep, okay. It says, Ye that fear, this is Psalms 22, verse 23. Yeah. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him, all ye the like seed. Like you said, how are you going to praise him if you don't know his name? Exactly. Or his son's name? Go ahead. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. How are you going to fear him if you don't know his name and the son's name? You guys just don't make sense. But you know what? It does make sense because you what you're doing is perverting the gospel. That's all you're doing, perverting the gospel. I guess they changed their mind. Okay, that's a, ba that's a baby, a baby deer. Yeah. A doe, whatever you call it. Yeah, doe, yeah. She's waiting, he's wait that one's waiting for what the mother wants to do. He didn't move at all, he's just sitting there until the mother moved. Uh, yeah, that was, that was the point on that. That yep. was, yeah, on, on that. So I'm read that again, Acts 15 and 10. Yeah. Now, therefore, why tempt you the Most High to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples? So any guy who's shoving the law, you're shoving the law, you're tempting the Heavenly Father. And the scriptures say, uh, do not tempt the Heavenly Father. What's that, Deuteronomy? Somewhere, Yahweh actually quoted that to Satan. Kind. And Satan told him, oh, you can throw yourself off this mountain. It's written, the angels will bear you mm -hmm. up. And, and, then, then, and then the Lord came back with another scripture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can quote scriptures, but you can counter a scripture with a scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's home right. bad. Don't no, 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 <laughs> break down the scripture with a scripture. You know, that's, well, that's, well, that's, that's how you break down the scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Precept upon, that's what precept upon precept means. Yeah. And when that dude told us that, he was telling us like, like we were supposed to be, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come on, man. That's what we do at our school. We break down the scripture with the scripture. Right. And well, Matthew, you, Matthew yeah. 23, uh, to, to show you that we ought to keep the law, uh, the, the Yahweh Shai said, yeah, do what they say, but don't do what they do. I'm right. paraphrasing. Right. Yep. Because they say do and do not. Right. So what are they really doing? Are they really keeping the law? No. No. No, they don't even. They're keeping some of the laws, and they're not yeah. keeping all the law. And to be justified by the law, you got to keep, keep all the, all the law. law. You're not even oh. keeping the Sabbath right. You still have Saturday Sabbath classes. Yeah, they should consider on, why man. would why would our GMS constantly say for years that the Sabbath is based upon the new moon? If you did the research and the study, mm -hmm. you would see it crystal clear yourself. Yeah, the new moon is the full moon. And he just he, he changed on, that dude. back in 2016. Yeah, I remember when he changed it. It was around the time when that movie came out. Um, the, 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 the Turner, Nat Turner oh. story came out. Because mm. we had saw the movie, and then we did a video right after the movie, remember? Something mm -hmm. of a nation, Birth of a Nation yeah, one? Birth of a Nation, yeah. <clears throat> That's around the time that was November. That was around the time that he started teaching that, oh, I found out in spirit that the new moon is the full moon. Yeah, what's spirit? And who, yeah. and who attacked it? Us. Yeah. Why did we attack it? Because we believe that we're the men of the Lord. Yeah. The yeah. defenders of the gospel. Yeah, the new moon, means it's not there's no it's just a sliver of light the full moon means the whole body that the heavenly father created is filled with light so when you how could the new moon be the full right. hey it says uh what is it is it psalm 83 and 1 or 81 and 3 or the psalm uh, 81 yeah. and 3 81 and 3 yep yep you get a better understanding if you go to i think the nlt or the net any uh you know what i i got i got i got that on here Go to the King James first. Okay. When you have the term, if I may say, when you have the term full moon, was it full of? Mm -hmm. Right? What, full of water? Full of light. Full of sand? Right. <laughs> full of cheese? Right. Full of cheese? <laughs> Wisconsin grade A cheese? Go ahead, brother. This is Psalms 81 and 3. 
And this is from the King James. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon and the time appointed on our solemn feast days. Okay, so now go to, I believe it's the NLT. Uh, the NLT is sound the trumpet for a sacred feast when the moon is new, when the moon is full. Um, well, that's a good one. And then you, can, you, read it, you read it like that. You can equate that the, the moon, the new moon is the full moon. It says that when the, new, when the moon is new, right. that's one time period. When the, when the moon is full, that's another time period. Right. There's the, another one. I think it's... I got the NIV. NIV. And I think it's NIV. It says, sound the ram's horn at the new moon and when the moon is full. And. Right. It's a difference. Though. On the day of our festival. Two different... Uh, right. Which the, the new would be the first day of the month. Right. Which the word month... Tells you in the apocrypha the moon the word the term moon came after month right came from the word month um so that would be the first day of the month oh. the new moon so it's giving you two different times right to blow up the trumpet right, right. yeah look read it again please it looks like a full yep. moon almost there yeah niv sound the ram's horn at the new moon and when the moon is full on the day of our festival and there's another translation i, I got another one here the gnt Try it. it says, uh, blow the trumpet for the festival mm -hmm. when the moon is new and when the moon is full. That one's kind of iffy. There's so, another one. I mean, uh, you have to go to the, the blue letter. You want to get the blue letter? For what? For that same there's sound? A, there's, a, there's another sound one. Come on. I think it's the N. Uh, there's so many translations. Was it the N N E T you read? The N L N L T you read? Psalms 81 and 3. I'll just go to the, go to the Bibles. <laughs> Let's see. And uh which one are we looking for? Oh, here we go. NLT. That's what you read, okay? Yeah, but I read it off of Okay, okay. The, another that, another one. It says blow the ram's horn at new moon and again at full moon to call a festival. Read it again, please. Blow the ram's horn at new moon and again at full moon to call so the a festival. So the new moon and the full moon are two different times. It says, and it says a festival, right? right. So now the scholars, these uh, uh, Bible Hub scholars, they said they don't know if uh, it's talking about the, well, they say it's talking about the uh, tabernacles, but, it, but some of them say it's talking about the Passover, because guess what? The Passover and the tabernacles fall on the, on the full moon which is what 15 days right. from the new moon which is the middle of the month which is the middle of the month right so when you're keeping the passover and you look up into the sky the moon is full yeah because what because what what date do you start the 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 the, 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 the passover 14 the first evening. of the month you right. count the days down 10th oh, right. day you, you right. find you get the lamb mm -hmm. you prepare the lamb and then by the time you get to the 14th day at day you're finishing up. The people are coming in to eat. Yeah. Which the 14th day at evening would be the 15th day. The 15th day. Yeah. 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 Which is also known as the Feast of Bible Unleavened system. Bread. Yeah. Uh, CSB. Blow the horn on the day of our feasts, during the new moon and during the full moon. And during the full moon. And that was the feast for the new moon. Yeah. Remember when uh, David didn't show up? Yeah, right. Right. Saul asked about yeah. him. That was a new moon feast. You prepared, right. you prepared the the meal, and you timed it before the the, the sun went down. Right. All right. Uh, N E T. Sound the ram's horn on the day of the new moon, and on the day of the full moon when our festival begins. Now, what festival scholars argue, whether it's the Passover or the Tabernacle, mm -hmm. it can apply to both of them. Right. Because guess what? They, they both. both fall on the two weeks into the right. new moon right which is the full moon so you're going off again and we, and we showed you oh! right go to galatians what is it galatians six and one okay yeah just like we were showing ron, ron dalton yeah he don't know what the hell he's talking about we're showing you you don't know what the hell you're talking about that's right and that's from pride yep yeah. we're batting a hundred man yeah. we've never been wrong you just totally right. the most high. Right. <laughs> How can you never be wrong? Somebody got to have it right, right? And we and we bees those all all the time. 
uh, Galatians 6 and 1. It says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. Cons That's what we have done in the right. spirit of meekness. Okay. Considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Yeah, because we could go on. Yeah, we're, we're in the flesh. Yeah, we're, we're not going to say, um, we know that this doesn't mean what it really, what we say it is, but we're going to deceive people. Well, guess what? The judgment is going to come on us. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, obey them that had the rule over you in Hebrews. Look right. at that. Hebrews 13, 17. The, the Apostle Paul says. You can start above that. Start um, 17. Start at, uh, I don't know, 12. Ten. Yeah, the Apostle Paul said, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We don't want the terror of the Lord to come down upon us. Man. Right. You know, what benefit is <laughs> to us? No. Is it is it is it leading to you astray? Right. But we see that you're leading people astray, whether you sincerely think you're teaching the right way, but you're going off. Yeah, and that's what, like I said, we opened up earlier. We went on Ron. Dalton. We went. We got in on Ron Dalton. Yeah. He went. He goes off on a lot of things. Yeah, and when we don't, uh, our, our, the ministry of ours is simple. There's no gimmicks. There's no. We don't see no dancing girls and right. and all that bullshit. You know, we don't need that. All we just do is teach the truth man. Yeah. just go right to the scriptures yeah. and teach the scriptures that's what yeah how wish i would do mm -hmm. well jake likes the truth like they like a car yeah they it's like the way it looks, looks on the outside in the system and that's mm -hmm. it they don't check esau he opens the hood he checks under the car he got a scanning tool yep. he got a mechanic with him and then jake oh you man you go to uh, the court you know uh, <laughs> yeah. what's what you call that court show the people's court. Oh, the people's man, the court. man told me to man. And then the guy said, well, wait a minute. What does it say here on this thing? It says, as is. Right. Yeah, but you told me to come, but it says, as is. As is. Mm -hmm. And I told you you should have brought a, 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 a fucking uh, mechanic with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, the Apostle Paul, he, he mentioned, Did he you said. you around last? <laughs> man going to get you. <laughs> yeah, the hey, uh, uh, Paul Kersey, you wouldn't come out here. Oh, hell. Look at um, Sasquatch to grab your ass up, <laughs> take you into the woods. Uh, we teach you in the woods, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and the Apostle Paul, if I may say, he said, well, I teach this uh, gospel with uh, the un unleavened bread of sincerity, sincerity yeah. and truth. truth yeah. Now, unleavened bread is not fancy. Right. right. Unleavened bread is flat. Right. It, it's, it, it's really not the great, the greatest taste in bread. Right. But guess what? It's the best bread for you. Right. Unleavened bread. Dig it. So that's our ministry. Our ministry is, is like unleavened bread. Mm -hmm. It's not fancy, but it's it's it's, it's wholesome. It's what straight you need. to the point. It's straight to the point. Yeah. Sharp. Hebrews 13 verse 10. We have an altar. <laughs> you said that like sharp. Right? And, and the Lord, sharp. the Lord on the Passover. Why did the Most High say make unleavened bread? Because they didn't have because because they you make time. leaven bread, yeah. you have to put the leaven in there and you have to allow it to rise. Right, he said, yeah. No, you ain't got no time for that. Yep. He said, just take the flour, put it together, That's throw it. it on the oven, turn it around and eat it. And it says eat with hate, like the yeah. small hats. It's sitting down. Yeah. With the, Cedar. No, 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 no. You don't you don't eat the, the yeah, Passover yeah. like that. Right. You dig you dig in. Yeah, dig yeah. in. You got boiled eggs. Yeah. It said eat it with hate. You're supposed yeah, to be standing hate. up while you eat. Cedar plate. So you and you motherfuckers ain't for being there and the world is finding out, man. Yeah, you, you I think it said the woman exposed. had the kneading troughs bound right, to that's them. Right, because right. everything was, do, it said, and eat it in haste. Right. Yep. Mm. Go ahead, bro. It says, we have, we, that was the first fast food. <laughs> no, it says, we have an altar. He, this is Hebrews 13 and 10. Fast food that was actually that, good for That you. was good for you, right, right, right. I like the fast food yeah. that you did. It says, we have an altar where, whereof they have no right to eat which serve the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned without the camp. Wherefore, Yahweh Shai also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered. That shows you that we don't need no animal sacrifices. Right, right. Sakari. Right, yeah. right. And let me say this. Since the... Since the it's, we're still, it's still on that you got to sacrifice. When are you guys? When have you guys ever sacrificed? You haven't. Oh. Now you can you can prove me wrong. You can say, well, look to her. You know, you know, I was, yeah. I looked to her. Yeah. Look, we look. You you don't know. We got lambs. We do. <laughs> okay, but guess what? You're still going off. Well, if they did why, that. Why you how was yeah. 
<laughs> oh, if they did hey, that. Hey, you man, you lost on that damn King Tacky thing. Talk yeah. about King Tacky. Yeah. Is it fulfillment of our Deuteronomy? Man, I'm listening to that whole motherfucking yeah. take for three hours, yeah. thinking he gonna say something good. Then he said, this is King. I said, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> then immediately I did a counter to that. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah. no damn King Tacky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You tacky for talking about <laughs> King Tacky. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew you know it. what it said about nah, it. You know what it easy, said? Yeah. Hey, you know what it said? We're going to get back into this. Yeah. You know what it said in uh, Deuteronomy 29? Ah! It says that you and your king should go into captivity to a land that thou mother and father have known. Mm -hmm. So did the king know where he was going? According to that, what I just mentioned? No. It said, no, you and your know. king shall go into captivity. No, in other I words, didn't. the Israelites going to go into captivity along with their king right. to a place where you and your fathers have not known. Exactly. So right. did the king know? No. no. Well, no. guess what? King Tacky knew about America. Right. So Ooh. deal with that. Oh, man. Wow. He did trade with America. He, oh. did, he did trade with the Americans, man. Wow. <laughs> See? Uh-oh. Mm. See? Uh-oh. Yep. See, yep. we got you. Yeah. Got, got him. him. Got him. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I said, man, this nigga pulled yeah. the class one on me, man. Yeah. <laughs> king Tacky. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the fulfillment. To, he said, to heart. Here's the fulfillment. Oh, man. It's King Tacky. Yeah, I'm looking at Kit. You know me, I'm doing the research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is King Tacky? I never yeah. heard of this nigga. <laughs> and then I became an expert in five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm looking at the dude. I'm looking at him. Yeah, and I yeah. said, yo, this motherfucker look like my childhood friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can't know? be pulling pulling King Tacky out your pocket. <laughs> Every time Every you get pull, corrected, you gotta, you gotta pull a king. You gotta pull a king. Pull a king tacky out of there. You gotta pull a king tacky. <laughs> yeah, That's funny. Uh, Hebrews thirteen. That's uh, King David. But he was knowing him. That's right. No, he, he he didn't know. He didn't know. Yes, he did know. I got the yeah. I got the, the documentation. The I got the receipts, man. The yeah. receipts. Come on, let's go. All right, Hebrews thirteen and twelve. It says, "Wherefore Yahweh shall also." That he might <laughs> sanctify the people with his own blood. So what did the, what did Yahweh do? Yeah, mm -hmm. he replaced the animal sacrifice right. with, with sin, his blood. right? Yeah. With his blood. Now are we going to sacrifice animal in the kingdom? Yes, mm -hmm. because right. the Passover is a sacrifice. Right. Right. right, right. It's a prayer when you cut the lamb up and you roast the lamb and put up prayers and all that. Mm -hmm. So that is a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Right, but not Anytime for sin. You, but, uh, but not for sin. Right, yeah. not for sin. <clears throat> and right. there's other. You know, times when you you know you can have a free will offering. That's, you know, that's it. Mm -hmm. Quiet. It, it says su suffered without the gate. Uh, he says it says let us. Go, I'll read it again. Wherefore Yahweh shall also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth, therefore unto him without the camp, mm. bearing his reproach. Oh, what does it mean without the camp? Meaning we're out here. We're in America, right? right? We're in the west, the west side. Right. Pursuing to, uh, that's a couple of scriptures where it speaks, tells us we're going to be on the other side of the earth. Right. There's more than one scripture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Acts 1. Acts 1 is the first one, but there's yeah. some in, in, in the Old Testament. Yep. Deuteronomy. Or the most part of the earth. Yep. Yep. Uh, it says, for here we have, uh, for here we have, I'm sorry, for here have we, it's like it, no continuing city. Oh, by the way, he's the same guy that said the book of Hebrews, we uh, can't substantiate it. We don't know yeah. who wrote it. Well, that's, well, that's why they said that, because of that, because of what Paul yeah. said. That's crazy. Yeah. So guess what? You can't substantiate. You, you mean to tell me you can substantiate uh, the book of uh, Acts or the book of uh, First Corinthians? Come on, man. Mm -hmm. That's oh, probably the word, the word of the, the most high. Yeah. I couldn't believe when he said that. I was like, well, I, I can believe it. I can believe mm -hmm. it. Say what? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For here we, uh, for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Uh, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to Yahweh continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to His name. So this, what we're doing here, that's a sacrifice. Well, it says yeah. we are made a sacrifice. How was that Romans uh, twelve and seven? Romans twelve and one. Twelve and one. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. And what's the word sacrifice? I looked it up. It means to make holy. Mm. Sacra means holy, and feis means to make, or to mm. do. Oh, okay. To yeah. do holy. I right. think the Hebrew word is uh, sabak. <clears throat> sabak, yep. Sabak. Mm. Kind of, which means sacrifice. Yep. Yeah, which means to make holy. And then you have mazabak, which is the altar. 
Okay, yeah. Because mm. on the, you sacrifice. The ma meaning from or pertaining to the uh -huh. sacrifice. Yep. So okay. a miracle would be a mazaba. Yep. Yeah. Right. Oh, and that word altar literally means tall. Tall. In the Spanish, the Italian, alto, which means right. tall. Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, yeah, the Lord, by giving us this knowledge, he put us on high. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So yep. we're the altar, we're, mm -hmm. we're tall, we're the tower. Mm -hmm. Yep, tower, oh, yeah. Uh, was that Micah 4 and 6, or tower of the flock? Yeah. So yeah. another word for yeah, altar is one. tall. Uh -huh. See see how powerful it is when you look up words? <laughs> now that's what the scripture means by the virgins trimmed their lamps. Mm -hmm. When you look up the word trim, it means to add embellishments. Like with a meal, you, you have the steak and the potatoes. Now the veggies and all that, that's the trimmings right. for the meal. So when we go into these words and break, that's the trimmings for this meal. Right. Trim their lamps. The compliments. The compliments, yeah. Look, look up the word trim in the Greek. It means uh, uh, assortments, something to embellish something. And that's, that's how we do it. We read a scripture, we, you, you go into the Greek word, the Hebrew word, that's, that's trimming your lamp. Now you can't do that if you don't like IUIC. They say hey, we, you guys, you got to go into the Hebrew and the Greek, and and uh, you can't never teach your doctrine in the English, something like that. Well, so, wait a minute. Well, you're not trimming your lamp. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're not trimming your lamp. You're reading out of the King James Bible. <laughs> the King James is translated out of what languages? And he's 47 that. scholars. They forgot. How, how do you know how much they knew? How how uh, uh, adept they were with the Hebrew and the Greek? Right. right. Yep. How do you know if they went off? And they did go off a little bit here and there. Well, Easter. in the Apocrypha, in the prologue, it says, pardon us, for we've labored greatly right. to transfer the words from the Hebrew. Yeah. And then it goes on to say, for certain words translated in another language right. have not the same, same force, force in right. them as the Hebrew. That's how powerful the Hebrew language is. That's right. So you have to go into the Hebrew. You have to go. How do you break down uh, Acts 12 and 4, where it speaks about Easter? Mm. How do you break that down if you don't go into the group? Exactly. So just keep eat, just so keep Easter. You guys should just keep Easter. Yeah, right. have the bunny egg. What's that thing called? The Easter, Easter egg hunt. Easter, Easter egg, Easter egg yeah. hunt. And all that nonsense that they do on that chocolate day. bunnies, you yeah. know, chocolate bunnies yeah. and all that. Yep. And that's the statement that that big-eyed guy made. Big we call him the lemur. He said they can never teach that doctrine in the English. They got to go into Paleo Hebrew and, and Greek. The coin Greek. Coin Greek. Well, how do you explain Acts 12 and 4? If that's the case, just keep Easter, because the word there, the word Easter is in there. You guys, man, go ahead. Uh, Micah 4 and 8. O thou tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion. And that's why we're on the altar. See, this knowledge, it, 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 it makes us tower over the rest of the Israelites. It. it makes us tower over the rest of the Israelites. Right. By this, oh, um, was that Psalm 91? Uh, I will set him on high because he have known my name. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, beginning with his name. Come up hither. Huh? Come up hither. Yeah, come up hither. That's the altar, man. The altar means tall. Psalm 91, the first couple of uh, yep. verses Psalm of that. 91, yeah. Yeah. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. Secret most, place the secret place. Because mm -hmm. not everybody is privy to these secrets. And the most high tell us to utter these secrets right up on the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. But the most high closes the ears of the ones that he receive it, want, yeah. that, that hear it but can't receive it. And you notice when the altar was built, right, in the ancient world, the, 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 our forefathers, they always placed the name of the Most High on the altar. Mm -hmm. So if this altar is being built, how the hell are we not going to have the name of the Most High on this altar? Right. You guys, man. The land of Egypt, you should speak the language of Canaan. Yeah. When Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac, do you know the scripture actually says Abraham placed the name of the Heavenly Father on that altar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he placed the name of the Heavenly Father, and then he called the place... Uh, uh, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Ra'ah, because I was I reading it not too long ago. Yahweh sees. Yeah, Yahweh sees. And they have Jehovah Jireh, mm. but when you right. break it down in Hebrew, Yahweh Ra'ah, Yahweh sees. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Yahweh sees. sees. Right. <clears throat> so he placed the name of the, that place, not only the altar, he placed the name of that place the, on the, the most high. The Israelites in Athens, vocab likes to say that they're white. See, they're from Athens, so they're white people know. When you go into the history, when you go into the bases, of the of the Greek Olympics, yeah. who were the athletes? They weren't white people. They, they weren't Jake. white people painted black. They were black, tall people. Jakes, which you see today. You right. watch the Olympics. Exactly. Yeah. They built just like them people back then. The only difference is they were butt naked. Right. Now they have the 
they have the, the like the panties, you know, the, the, dress, the, thong, the thongs on and shit. Yeah. You see their body. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's almost like the naked. Yeah, well, almost, because that's the tradition, the spiritual yeah. the, the right. tradition of the Olympics. Well, when they first started, they used to wear the Daisy Dukes. You know them tight yeah, ass yeah, shorts yeah, 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 with the yeah, basket. Yeah, you know yeah, they used to be yeah, all the way up yeah, here. Yeah, nut hugs. Yeah, 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 nut hugs. Yeah, that's what they used to call them. Because they got it from the Greeks. Yeah. Hey, the boxing matches, you gotta wear trunks yeah, and trunks, no, you yeah. gotta let you. Yeah. yeah. But you yeah. see, Jack, they'll get trunks that are fucking like long. pants, like yeah, yeah, yeah. long. Because yeah. they, they throw their fringes. You know, they don't have the chest show to show their six pack. You know. Yeah. Right. Show and show their taco. <laughs> yeah, so the games, pretty much the games were a, a spectacle in the new. Yeah. Pretty much. Gym yeah, because they worked, at, they worked out at the gym. The word gym means is Greek for gymnast. Anyway, with that, we're going yep. to say Shalom. Shalom to the elect. Shalom to the elect. Right.